Where are we back? Um, are we back? Oh, hang on one sec. Okay. Are we back now? Yeah, sorry, the internet just went off. And it's back now, I guess. What a time to do it, right? Um, oh, you know what's annoying? Uh, is that, um, the people that were in the, in the YouTube chat, uh, I think they either have to refresh or they have to try to navigate to the... Oh, nope, they can't refresh. They gotta go back to the main page. That sucks. Yeah, so if you're on YouTube, you gotta start over. But they don't know that because the way that YouTube streams uh, are organized, it's like on an individual watch page. Oh, you got a pop-up? Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Damn. All right. Uh, yeah, sorry about that little hiccup, but we're back, and we're almost at $40,000. Very, very cool. Uh, let me let me catch up on some of the uh, donations real quick. Um, we've got Astarian's Juice Box. Thanks for the five bucks. Anonymous, uh, Oi Manoi, Fanunk. Tatsu Tatsuta Himet, Rye Animal, Allison, uh, No Kiri. Thank you all for the uh, donations. Appreciate that a lot. Uh, that puts us at thirty-nine thousand two hundred forty-one dollars. So really close to the goal. Really close. I'm excited. We can do it. Um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm uh, <laughs> so like. The wig is is smaller than my head by 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 a significant amount, and it, it it's like starting to give me a headache, and so I'm just I'm pulling on the uh, the inner band, and it feels so good. Oh my gosh! Everybody should experience this. Uh, okay, let's get back to it though. Um, For no reason, there's a tinder box. Oh yeah. Oh, and a chest. Open up. I'm pretty sure I undid the clips in the back. Do you want me to check? Okay, get ready to have your immersion broken, guys. Wait a second, I'm starting to think this guy isn't actually Heather Mason. Okay. <laughs> okay, hang on. Oh my gosh. I think I, yeah, I undid it. I'm telling you, my, my head's just huge. Holy crap, that feels amazing, by the way. Yeah, I, it's it was on. I, I that's like the first thing I do with these things is take off the clip. I'm just making sure. Yep. Yep, they're both there. There's two of them, and they're both undone. So. Okay. Uh, uh let me let me try to get back, <laughs> get back, <laughs> get back underneath it. Okay. Um. Okay, that's. That's not right. Uh, part of the part of the problem too is like oh, oh that's not that's like way off. Part of the problem too is um, that I've got uh, long hair that's up in the back. <laughs> oh wait. Wait, what's going on here? Okay. I don't think I did it right. Is that right? Okay, that's better. That's better. <laughs> okay. Heather's back. I don't know who that guy was. I got rid of him. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we're really close. We got a big one, I think. Let me see. Oh no, we just got a bunch of we got a bunch of donations. Yo, let's go. Let's see. Um 
Let's see. Uh, Smorgasbord, Pink Void, Margaret, David Motion, Bestie Porg. Um, John's the Inner Band. Thank you. Ashleen, Dollar Train Time. Let's go. Choo choo. Dairy Queen is best burger. That is like, that is a hor I can't believe I said that out loud. Amber, thank you for the $300. Thank you so much for the 300 bucks. Bestie Pork, thank you for the $100. Excuse me, $100. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, what are you at, 40K? Tom, thanks for the 250. Velma here, thanks for the 25. Did we do it? Hey, $40,582. I think I missed somebody again. I'm sorry. Binks, thanks for the $300. Havoc, thanks for the $100. Thank you so much. Okay, I knew I, I knew I had missed some in there. Thank y'all. $40,000. Yeah. Okay, I gotta get I gotta get the last one. I got the I gotta get the last piece. Okay. Oh, well. It's me. Hi. Hang on one second. <laughs> I'm going to do this while I stand up. <laughs> um, okay. How am I going to do this? Okay. Be right back. I got to get the, the last piece. The integral piece. Okay. <laughs> Check it out guys. We're going to Silent Hill. <laughs> oh I did it. I got I got one of these uh one of these flashlights. So now it's official. The only thing is I should have thought about this. I can't clip it anywhere. It's got a clip, but I can't clip it. Wait, maybe okay. Hang on, maybe I can figure it out. Maybe it can go like, maybe, maybe if I, um, okay. Well, you know what? That, that, that's, that's not really going to work. Um, <laughs> it sort of works. It just, the thing is, okay. You guys have to, okay. Now, now we can talk about some behind the scenes stuff. When, when I was putting this, cosplay together it was actually back in like June um, because I was planning on doing a, a stream back then but uh, I was looking for for uh, for a, a vest like what she has in the game and they like straight up don't exist they don't there's um, there's a lot of things that look very similar to it but there's nothing that looks exactly like it like what she has like because what she has right is it, it's it's got these but it's got pockets there's it's got big pockets here and, and and down here and there are some vests that have those pockets but then they don't have the hoodie um and, or like they don't have the right texture or like they don't have there, there's like four different things that her vest has that and I was able to find ones that hit like two out of four or whatever and so there's like nothing that looks exactly like it I look I looked for a long time and so I finally landed on well I'll get this thing and I'll, I'll, I won't get the cargo pockets but it'll it'll basically look like it uh, here's some here's some hacks too here's some hacks Though I, th since I couldn't find one with a hoodie, the the hoodie part is actually separate. It's a it's a sleeveless hoodie. <laughs> I was like, I think I can get a little creative with this one, and it'll 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 work. But yeah, so <laughs> it's just underneath that one. Uh. Yeah, there's uh yeah there was tons of stuff like fishing vests. Honestly, what is going on right here? Hang on. Let me let me look at this. What is happening here? Hang on. 
I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> uh, I have to find. Yeah, there's like, it's like something underneath that's like catching right there. Ah, oh, whatever. It's just a little thing. Um, great job, guys, on 40,000. Y'all did awesome. So now we ain't done yet, though. We ain't done. Ugh. We ain't done. Um, we've got some stretch goals to hit now. And don't for I, I didn't forget about the poll. Okay, I didn't forget about the poll. Since we have $40,000, you guys get to vote on a full Let's Play for me to do. Which one will y'all choose? You're getting blinded right now. Okay, sorry. I'll stop doing that. That's probably annoying. Um, we'll just have it. We'll have it go this way. Uh, right. So, full. Y'all get to vote on a full let's play. So let's set the terms, okay? Let's set the terms. No, no, no. You're not voting right now. Stop it. Stop it. You guys are always so excitable. You guys are just like I'm. I'm voting right now. Let me just say a game name. <laughs> I'm gonna just say one. Here I go. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Bulls Gate 3! No. Okay. So here are the terms. Alright. The Let's Play will be posted on my second channel, John Twolf. Okay? So I know despite my best efforts, there are people out there that don't even know that this channel exists or that I'm posting daily on there. But that's where it's going to be. Okay? It'll be posted on John Twolf. Which is where I'm posting, uh, excuse me, uh, my nose gets dried out sometimes and then I gag. It's a long story. Uh, it's where I'm going to be posting all my gaming stuff from now on, on John T. Wolf. And that's where it's going to be posted starting January 1st is when this playthrough that's voted on will be starting January 1st. Okay. So it won't be starting like tomorrow or anything. January 1st. I'm gonna take a little bit of time off from doing stuff between Christmas and New Year's. So just wanted to let you know that. Um, you can vote on any of the options that we come up with. Uh, we're gonna come up with 10 different options, okay? Cause I wanna make sure that you guys have enough options to vote on. And we'll be doing it on straw poll. So it'll be free. Because, uh, you know, I thought about doing a Tiltify poll, poll where we vote on it with cash. But I think we're going to be hitting the stretch goals even without this incentive. So, you know, you guys hit the 40,000. So we'll do this one. This will be a free poll. Um, so anybody will be able to just vote for this one. Um, we're going to have 10 different options, okay? And the way I'm going to pick them is I'll be looking at both Twitch and YouTube chat. And I'll just pick out whichever game name i think is brought up the most um most often and we'll just pick the 10 based on that so we're not picking the game yet um i'll let you know when we're ready um so 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 save your save your typing fingers at the moment okay so the game can be anything the game can be uh something i haven't played yet something i have played before something that i started playing and didn't finish uh, so it can be it can be any of those, and uh, the only thing that I will say is that um, the goal is for me to just complete the game. And I'm not gonna 100% it or anything. So I guess to that end, it would probably be in your best interest to pick a single player game instead of being like Dark Bar Daylight, which you guys aren't gonna pick, but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so. Let's go ahead and start taking down options. Wait, before we do that, actually, we can have 10 options on straw poll, right? Like that's, it's not gonna like limit us, right? We should be able to get, cause I know sometimes they can be weird about this. You have it open? Okay. Um, so they, uh, so we can have 10 options. We can do 10. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay. All right, all right, let's go. 
What do we want? I'm looking now. Now it starts. Okay, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 is a definite is a definite one that I just saw. Baldur's Gate 3 is option number one for sure. Um, okay. Let's see. There are so many. Darkwood. Okay, I've seen a lot of Darkwood. Darkwood's on there. Darkwood is option number two. Okay, Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is number three. Um, control is number four. Control is number four. Uh, let's see. By the way, if you if you if you're still saying Baldur's Gate three, you don't need to say it anymore. It's already on the poll. So, say something else, please, for the love of God. Uh, let's see. I see inscription. Inscription have seen a lot. That's number five. Are y'all saying? Per Okay, so we're halfway through. I've I've seen a lot of Persona Five. I can't tell if that's the same person over and over again. But y'all are a sadist. Persona Five, seriously? Okay, well we'll have it on the poll. How about that? Number six, Persona Five. Stardew Valley. I've seen a lot of Stardew Valley. So that's number seven, I believe. Okay, we'll do three more. Three more. And again, we're going to vote on these. These are just poll options, okay? Um, Soma. I see a lot of Soma. Okay, so Soma number, number eight. Number eight, Soma. Uh, let's see. We got room for two more. Two more. Fear and Hunger? Okay, Fear and Hunger number nine. I just, I saw that too many times to ignore it. Okay. One more, one more. Let's see. Oh, there's so many. I've seen a lot of Bioshock. What the hell? Bio okay, Bioshock. Number 10, Bioshock. Okay, we've got our 10, right? We've got our tent. Okay, let's slow down. Slow down. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. Stop talking now. <laughs> We're done. We're done. Let me... I want, I want to check one thing. I want to check one thing. Okay. Uh, weird. Were you, uh, it, weird. So you got him? Weird. I have a question. Before you, before you do it. You haven't done it yet, have you? Okay. Um, can we put... Any more options? Like, can we put, say, two more? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, let's do two more. We'll do two more options, okay? So we'll have 12. All right, all right, let's go. Okay, Disco Elysium, number 11. Because I saw a bunch of those. And we got room for one more. Room for one more. Detroit. Detroit. Some people have said Detroit. All right. Detroit become human number 12. That's it. All right. We got 12. We got our 12. Thank you, guys. I'm sure you know. You know what? I understand that. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe the one that you were saying didn't get picked for an option. But I think I have 12 options. Any, any of the ones, any of the ones that we have, there'll be one of those that you'll be able to vote for and maybe be happy about. Hopefully, <laughs> I can't even remember which ones they were. All right, are we ready to vote? Are we ready to vote? This is for a full Let's Play. There it goes. It's at least in Twitch chat. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I gotta click on it. I'm not gonna vote. I'm just gonna click show results. Okay, let's see. So this is, this is the vote. This is the big poll right here. You Baldur's Gate fans are insane, man. 
What's 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 funny is I already have a playthrough that's underway that I'm like six hours into. So I guess I'll start over. I, I honestly, if, if any of you guys want something other than Baldur's Gate 3, you're gonna have to get on it. <laughs> you're gonna have to like band together. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even, I haven't even found, uh, excuse me, uh, Head Druid Halson yet. I, I, I'm like taking my time and doing every single little thing in the game, of course. Wow, Detroit number two? I kind of can't believe that. Ooh, Breath of the Wild, only 40 points. Shh, dodged the bullet with that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly... I'm honestly kind of surprised that Detroit is as high as it was. They, they like barely got in at the end at number 12. I was like worried. I was like, did, wait, didn't that not that many people say Detroit? Oh. I mean, it looks like it looks like the polling might be over. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I think it's safe to say Baldur's Gate 3 has won. Damn, what did I sign myself up for? Okay, how about this? How about this? I... I understand, okay? I understand everybody's everybody's pain right now. Everybody who voted for Baldur's Gate is like, yes, we did it. And everyone who didn't vote for Baldur's Gate is like fucking Baldur's Gate fans, man. Are you kidding me? So how about this? I'll, I'll not only play the number one. I'll, I'll start, I'll start January 1st. I'll start Baldur's Gate three, but at some point I will, I will play Detroit become human next year. I just don't know when, but. You got my word on that, okay? I'll play Detroit. Cause y'all put up y'all put up a valiant effort there. 130 votes. There was there was no way you're gonna win against Baldur's Gate 3, unfortunately. But I'll I'll play I'll play both of them, okay? How about that? I just won't be able to start it January 1st. Cause I gotta, you know, I gotta start Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Again, oh I have like I have like a cool barbarian character. You wanna see my cool barbarian? I gotta start over? I like I made her look so cool. Can you have a different file? Oh, I think you can. I mean Polar Skate 3 is the best game of all time, right? So I assume you can have two files. Because if you can't, then... I don't know, maybe we need to rethink all the hype. Dark Urge playthrough. Okay, you guys need to settle down. What about mods? What, are you gonna, are you gonna install any mods? For your first time playthrough? Are you gonna play? Are you gonna play some? I, I'm not gonna. Oh my god, Persona 5. Dude. Persona 5? Y'all, I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I think I. Soma and Bioshock, I, I can kind of see being down here because I've already played both of those. A Fear and Hunger, I'm surprised, is as high as it is. How did that game blow up? Because I remember playing Fear and Hunger years ago, and then like. Earlier this year, my, my one video that I made on it, I got all these know-it-alls out of nowhere. Being like, this guy doesn't even know how to play the game. And I was like, what's going on? And I, I guess a, somebody posted like a video essay about it or something. Was it like a Wendigoon video or something? Oh, Super Eye Patch Wolf. Okay. I knew it was one of those guys. Hmm. 
Nobody watches my video game video essays. People just comment, whenever I make a video essay about games, people just comment on, they're like, why didn't you just play it? Why didn't you just play it for us? What's this? Disappointing that you didn't actually do a Let's Play of Dead Space Remake. Oh, but these other guys get to just, they get to single-handedly resurrect hype in certain indie games that they make essays on. Interesting. Anyway. All right. So I'll play both Baldur Gate, Baldur's Gate 3 starting January 1st on John Twolf and Detroit Become Human at some point next year. Thank you everybody for voting. Nora, did you do a donation match again in the background while that was happening? Under cover of night. Let me see. I never know. Okay, no. For, it's just saying that. It's just saying that up there. It's like stuck saying that. But we're almost at 41,000. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll tell you what I will do. Because we've got, we've still got to get um, to 45,000. Because we've got to make the CFO of the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation cut his uh, pink beard off, which he's currently dying, I believe. He's currently dying his beard, and we're going to make him cut it off. Let's see. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm about to go crazy. I'm about to go sicko mode. Here we go. This will be my last donation match of the night. Last one, okay? There we go. All right, guys, I will match up to a thousand dollars. Last, last one of the night. Last one of the night. Get, get your matching donations while they're hot. All right. Any donations, I will match up to a thousand dollars. So let's go. Okay, let's go. If you've been waiting, now's the time to get it in. It's active for an hour. And so we can we can we can easily get to forty three thousand like that, and then I mean we're practically there. We're practically there. Um, let's see. By the way, thank you Nicole for a hundred dollars. Thanks Seno for twenty dollars. Catching your vote for Detroit. Well, Seno, you'll be relieved to know that that Detroit was uh. A winner. We helped force it, but <laughs> let's see. Uh, wow. Thank you, Anonymous, for the fifty bucks. Asher, thank you for the hundred bucks. Um, a dollar train right there. Every dude, right now, if you donate a dollar, I'll match it, so your dollar can turn into two dollars. How about that? You know where you are. Uh, yeah. You know where you are. You're in Silent Hill, son. Sucker. You're in Silent Hill right now. You're in Silent Hill. We donate to charity. So. All right. <laughs> this flashlight's kind of cool. I just, I expected it to be brighter. I don't know. Like, I feel like this flashlight can't really penetrate through the fog like you would need it to. But it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> there's a there's a button that I don't know what it does. Okay, so here's how you turn it on. Here, look. See on the side, there's like a little switch. First of all, if you if you if you move it up, nothing happens. Which I'm like, okay. You have to move it up all the way, and then it turns on. And then there's a little button right here that you can press. But when I press it, nothing happens. It's not a self-destruct button or anything. The button is for Morse code. 
Really? Well, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't affect the light, though. So. Okay. Yeah, it's very strange. Very strange. Sorry, I'm trying to, uh, something happened in, in chat, but I think I was not, I think I missed it. That's okay. Uh, listen to mods. They're here to help everyone. Art for art, for art thanks for the hundred bucks. Zach, thanks for the ten dollars. Rattle wings. Dak, 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 I have no idea how to pronounce it, Dak. Uh, Goth GF, Optimus Prime, Krusty Krab, Bean Keem, Joey Foxtrot, Anonymous, Myelin, Trans Catboy, Doc, thank you all for the... We got Dollar Train happening right now. That's so cool to see. Thank you. Oh, by the way, by the way, it says Anonymous right now. Why? It keeps saying Anonymous. It's me. I'm the one doing it. <laughs> I, I want credit. <laughs> I want the credit for it. <laughs> anyway, well, this is great. Great job, everybody. We're at, we're already at forty two thousand two hundred dollars. Um, Y'all are doing amazing. Anonymous, thank you. Park Bijou, uh, Alamendra, Tiger Sebi, thank you all for the the ten buck train there. Katie, thanks for the ten dollars. Cecil, thanks for the ten dollars. We are, we are doing a fantastic. Congratulations. You know what? I mean, this is all just extra. We hit the goal, but now we're going for the stretch goal. So if you want to make uh, Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation's CFO Jeff. Uh, shave his pink beard. We need to hit $45,000. Ashley's asking to play the Jeff video again. Okay, yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. That's a, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, for those of you that haven't seen this, I'm going to play a video for you, which actually... Um, I'm actually going to be right back. Hang on one sec. Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna play the video that Jeff has for you real quick. I'm gonna be right back. It's been, it, it'll be about four minutes. By the way, Izzy, thank you for the $500. Thank you. And Golden Sun Felix, I saw one from you too. Hang on, I'm trying to catch up to it. Wait, where is it? Golden Sun Felix, thank you for the $100. Uh, Izzy, thank you for the $500. Thank you so much. That completes my my last matching donation. That was so much fun. I love doing that. Theo and Alec, thank you. Sammy, Cherry Skeleton, Ravi, James, uh, David Cage's number one hater. Oh my god. Lexi, Peggy, Charjnari, thank you all for the donations. I appreciate it. Um, we have forty three thousand three hundred sixty one dollars at the moment raised. If we get to forty five thousand, we're gonna see um, this lovely guy that we're about to watch a video from we're gonna watch him uh well not live but he'll be shaving his beard that he dyes pink um but first he's got um a message for everyone uh and uh he recorded this just today and we're gonna be playing it for you guys um i played it earlier in the stream but i realized that a lot of people weren't here for it so i'm gonna take this opportunity to go get a drink but um I'll be right back after it's over. Thank you. Thank you guys. a highly recruited basketball player. He was playing on the Under Armour circuit and was drawing interest from a lot of major companies. Sorry about that. I'll start it over. 
Sorry, I didn't realize it was playing the the. <laughs> I didn't realize it was playing that on, on loop. It's so annoying. I'll play it again. <sighs> Hello, my name is Jeff Still, and I'm the Chief Financial and Operating Officer of the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. I'd Thanks. like to thank you for inviting me to take part in your community. I am also a husband and father of five. My tallest Thanks. son, Easy, is six foot 10, and we adopted him from Nigeria. He was in high school and was a highly recruited Thanks. basketball player. He was playing on the Under Armour circuit and was drawing interest from a lot of major colleges. One weekend, he started having headaches and then got sick. We took him to the hospital, and to our surprise, they admitted him to the hospital immediately. They then came to us and said that they had to transport him to a trauma hospital and that he needed to have emergency surgery the next day. His brain tumor was the size of an avocado. The next morning he had brain surgery and we started learning phrases we never wanted to learn about. We learned about phrases like pediatric low grade glioma, grade two oligodendroglioma and Thanks. malignant tumor. We had joined a club that no one wants to join the parents of children diagnosed with brain cancer. Our stay in the pediatric ICU and the oncology units was relatively short compared to other families. It was a week. However, it was long enough for him to learn how to walk again, how to take care of himself, meet the oncologist assigned to our case, and to plan out consultations for chemotherapy and proton therapy. We had 33 oncologists nationwide speak into his care. Because of the nature Thanks. of his tumor type, rare in children, being fully encapsulated and yet also being completely resected during surgery, and the fact that it was adjacent to the motor and behavior sections of his brain, 32 of the 33 doctors recommended no treatment and to monitor it with MRIs. His diagnosis, Thanks. surgery, and recovery was challenging. We met other families in a similar but more severe situation than we were. And so we were reserved as a family to support others. That is why I'm, I am at the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. Three years ago, on the third anniversary of his surgery, and to celebrate the Brain Tumor Awareness Month, Easy, myself, and our youngest son, David, all decided to shave our heads. However, when you look Thanks. like me, a shaved head can result in you looking like a cue ball. That is when the beard was born. When Thanks. I heard about this community and what you are doing to support the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation and our families, I was so moved that I decided that as a milestone in your efforts that I would issue this challenge. If you raise $45,000 in funds for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation, I will shave off this beard. I want to thank you for all that you do to support charities. This is an amazing community. I am proud to personally be a part of what you do. As a follow-up on my son, Easy, he is a college basketball player completing his last year of eligibility, playing at Montreat College. Thanks. Previous and finishing his MBA. Previously, in his undergraduate, he played for the Southern, Uni Southern Illinois University of Edwardsville. And now he plays for Montreal College. He's doing well, and we're looking forward to his graduation. We look for that for all kids that we help and all families. Thank you for being a part Thanks. of this journey. All right. Great video there from Jeff, and uh, well, you got to you got to hear his powerful personal story, and you also got to see that magnificent beard that will soon be no more. It is our our duty, our sworn duty, to make sure that that beard comes off, and we're we're gonna make that happen. We're only fifteen hundred away. I'm gonna have a vanilla coke, not sponsored. Just wanna. 
I want to make sure that you guys know I'm not sponsored by Coke. He's currently picking up the pink hair dye. Let's go. We're getting live updates on the ground. Fantastic. Thank you, Ashley, for uh, hanging out in chat and for giving us Jeff updates, TM. Um, let's see. Thank you. Uh... Wait, hang on. Oh, I already read those. Okay, here we go. Thank you. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. We'll be right. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. I didn't realize that it played it on loop. I thought it played it like one time. And it was Ugh. Imagine if I <laughs> The only reason I knew to turn around was because Kimmy has has the stream on and she was like uh, John and I could hear it going off and I was like no <laughs> Oh And it was loud, I know. If anybody fell asleep to the stream, they're not asleep anymore. <laughs> it was blasting out poor Jeff. He was given he was given uh, he was giving such a personal video and it's got this little meme in the background talking over him. Well good thing we fixed it, you know? Mala's baby girl, Kiyami, Lucas, Anonymous, Crystal, Anonymous, Mandy Morg, Fairy Goddess, and Ang on Edge. Thank you so much for the um, donations. It takes a lot of donations to keep the stream up and running. Okay, wait, I already made. Wait, there's a bunch of other ones. Anonymous, Rose Ghost, Dumb Appliance, Tiger Snout, uh, Anthony, Nichi Rat. Not setting up the chairs next time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kelswa, Lady Now uh, Lavender, Blue Cheshire, Bump Pumper Nicole. Thank you all for the for the donations. We're at forty-three thousand seven hundred sixty-three dollars and sixty-nine cents. Nice, nice. Somebody's got to donate thirty-one cents to even that out to double zeros because I'm getting tilted right now. I've never seen the regular show. See, unlike you guys, I watch non-cartoon content when I watch TV I don't just go new cartoon play binge all 85 seasons like y'all do <laughs> if you don't watch cartoons then what do you even watch bro I don't know real TV shows with real people in them Yeah, here's the, you know what? I'm getting bored, so guess what? You guys are getting roasted. That's right. Yeah, I, yeah, well, I watch Invincible, but like, that's like, that's like, that's a cool show. That's different. Yeah, I watch Invincible, you know. I, I might have, I might have started watching Bojack Horseman recently. Okay. I watched some, I watched some, Cartoons, okay. Yeah, that's right. I'm just not gonna watch like, a, a, I'm not gonna watch a show just cause it's a cartoon. That's how we're not the same. I'll sit here and be like, you guys seen Breaking Bad and you guys will be like, never heard of it. And then you guys will be like, he didn't get the regular show reference. What the hell? The Wire? Never heard of it. What's it about? Oh, God. You guys tilt me so bad. Anyway, uh, let's get back to talking about charity. We just hit $44,000, by the way. More importantly. So so thank you guys for that. Let's see. Let's, let's review what happened. A donation so spooky you'll go boom boom. Thanks for the $150. I do get the Nukes Top 5 reference. I wish I didn't. I wish I didn't know what you were referring to with that donation, but okay. Olivia, thank you. Phoenix, thank you. Jimbo, thank you. Silent, thank y'all for the donations. Jimbo with a hundred bucks as well. That gets us to forty-four thousand. Now again, if we hit, if we hit forty-five, when we hit forty-five, that means Jeff has got to shave that beard, and we're all gonna we're all gonna watch it happen. 
So that's going to be great. And you know what? That's not all that's going to happen at 45,000. At 45,000, we will also unlock an anonymous donor who is going to match donations up to $5,000 from 45,000 onward. That's right. So if we hit 50,000, we'll actually hit 55,000, which would be the most we've ever raised. We've hit 50,000 before, but not 55,000. That's that's a that's a new height that we've yet to that we've yet to go to. So just just putting that out there. It's a distinct possibility that that can happen. Hang on one second. I'm just so popular. <laughs> Hang on. Um. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. How do I donate? Great question. You're going to want to click on the Tiltify link, either in chat or below uh, the video if you're on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, just click on the, the stream description and click on the Tiltify.com link. That's where the fundraiser is, and that's where you donate. Um, there's also links in chat as well. So there's a couple of different places that it would be. But you want to donate through Tiltify, it goes straight to the charity. Otherwise, if, if you're if you're if you're donating on like you like through YouTube or something, that's just going to me, which we don't want. So thank you for asking. Um, however, if you do, if for anyone that's uh, accidentally donated to me over the course of the stream, I will be donating uh, the personal donations to. Um, the GoFundMe of uh, a friend of ours who has a niece that um, is battling a brain tumor at the moment. So it will still go to a good cause. Um, but please donate to the Tiltify fundraiser. Thank you. I, I will be keeping none of it. None of the personal donations, I mean. But yeah, $44,000 and, and two, two, $44,200. Wow. Awesome. You know, hang on one second. I just forgot, I forgot, I forgot that we were doing this. I forgot that we were watching this. We gotta get back on track. We gotta, we keep getting distracted. Give me that oil. Okay, so I just so, got so, okay, one on. Okay, so for anyone that 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 wasn't here when we were when we started watching this, this is uh, this is like a, a twelve year old video that I have when I was twenty three. Don't do the math on that. Tinder boxes. Let's see, twenty three plus twelve. No, stop! Don't do it. Stop. Just stop there. You don't need to add them together. Oh, wrong way. I'm an idiot. Go, go. Stupidest person. Alive. I'm 35 too. I don't know what you're talking about. What is that freaking sound? Who's 35? Seriously. You're 35? Wow. What? I did it like dust in it. Maybe it was like, oh, it was like the monster's grandpa or something. I don't like this. Okay, see, like that's not a bad joke, but the delivery is terrible. That was like the monster's grandpa or something. I like the idea. I, I like the idea that everything, all, all the environmental objects, all belong to the monster. <laughs> They're all the monster's personal possessions. That's kind of funny. I really don't like this. This is, uh, the game's got a lot creepier. Like, at the beginning, I was okay because I was like, oh, there can't be any monsters this early. <laughs> No, dude, you constantly, you were like, is there a monster in here? Like, you walked into the first room and you're like, there's a monster in here for sure. We all saw it happened. 
So, so like, don't don't even be like, yeah. When I first started the game, I knew there couldn't be any monsters there. We all heard you say the opposite. Come on, it won't open. It's locked. Good, Gorb. I don't want to go that way. Okay. Find the key of the wine cellar. The door leading to the local history room is locked. Ibbid. Ibbid. Okay. Whew. That scared me. Dear God. Oh, okay. I, like, I physically jumped. What was that? Did you hear that? Okay. I, sh I sure did. This is did. not cool. I'm scared. Okay. Hey, some oil. I'm not even going to look to the left. There's like a monster there. <laughs> I just go straight for the oil. Okay, I have my freaking... Alright, that's it. Anybody comes near me, you, you get the chair. What's in here? I like how I just ignore rooms to like to the right. I didn't even look at it. There could have been a monster in there. And it could be like... Bleh and have killed me by now, but... You're, you're so paranoid. This guy's so paranoid. Damn. I'm, I, I'm talking about him like he's not me. Like he's just some stranger. <laughs> What's with this guy? He's, this guy's paranoid, bro. What's his problem? It didn't. What the heck? Oh, I'm immune doing flashbacks. I can explore. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start what? falling apart. Which is my time anyway. Let's do what There's we no can. door. There's no door. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here. Here. And there. Let's get the servants working on it. Let's get the servants. Like Wilhelm? Is that what you mean? Like Will. Wow, I, uh, listen to me. I'm bringing a call back from a previous note. Oh, you mean like Wilhelm? I remember reading that note about how he was a servant. I'm going to prove I was paying attention by bringing him up now. Wilhelm? Ha. Ooh, tinderbox. Okay, but what was that? It was like a shaky earthquake type thing. Oh, a book. I hate learning. Hate it. <laughs> Despise it. Oh, gotta get that out of there. No, 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 no. I wanted to throw the book. Okay. Hate it. Okay. I was trying. I was trying to make that into a joke. Like a like a <laughs> like a, re a repeat joke that I could like <laughs> remember the reference. Anytime I find a book, I say, I hate learning, and I throw the book away. Uh, that is amusing. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. It's amusing, guy. Are you amused right now? I don't know if I am, I'll be honest. Oh, God. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? What? What just happened? You died. Excuse me? So you're dead. Yeah. It's, it's a flashback, dude. It's okay. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized <gasps> it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Sorry, I'm not... <laughs> How much more of this is there? <laughs> How much we got left? Cursed object. Daniel, what did you do? $44,400, by the way. Wait, Close what? to 45000 You're supposed, oh, supposed to walk... To be going. You're supposed what? to walk forward. What is this? You're supposed to walk forward. What is this? Just, just press W. I didn't realize I was supposed to be doing anything. It yes, we gathered that. For me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mist of light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my it's fingers. It's like it's like a it's like a full second off. Spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of 
spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. What game is he the playing right now? I can remember <laughs> the I'm not playing a game. Oh, wait. Through. Maybe maybe you mean like me in the past. It's Amnesia the Dark Descent. Uh, there's only half... There's only half a minute left of the video? I end the video in 30 more seconds. Really? The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Okay. Uh, that's a good place to stop for now. <laughs> um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you should like it literally and leave a nice comment, a comforting comment, because I'm scared. And subscribe. Okay. <laughs> okay thanks. See you guys in the next video. Uh, maybe, uh, leave a nice comment. Comfort me because I'm scared. Oh, poor baby. Poor little baby. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know. Should we watch another one? Let's catch up on donations real quick. Let's see, Ryan, thanks for the 25. Every dollar counts. Thanks for the one dollar. Curry, thanks for the ten. Kafsra, thank you for the ten. Pecker, Puncher Supreme, thanks for the ten. Wesker's mom, thanks for the twenty-five. Let's jam. Elliot Love, Merrick, Ali Cryptid, thank you so much for all the uh, donations. Let's see, did I miss any? I missed a couple, I think. Hang on. Um, <laughs> Chill's voice number seven. Number seven. Thanks for the five dollars. I can't do. I can't do a Chill's voice. Number seven. Probably uh, not Bill Murray. Thank you for the five bucks. Mary, thanks for the twenty-five. Crab, Meg, Anto Merck, G loves TV, Vampir Vampirina chick. Anonymous and Rosie Rue, thank you all for the donations. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, where are we now? Oh, we're at $44,442, which is $2 off from... Tell us 44 cents off from 4444444. I'm just saying, y'all have the opportunity to make history right now. But the thing is, only one of you guys can do it. Because if you all do it, you'll mess it up. We have to we have to nominate. We have to nominate a representative to donate two dollars and forty four cents. No, no, wait, no, 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 we need, to, we need to coordinate this. Because otherwise... No, no! No, we raised more money. Thank you, Amlide, for the $25. Amlide didn't give a... Didn't give a crap about the six fours in a row. We're not going to have the opportunity to do that until the next one. <laughs> and you know what? I mean, that's why I want it all along. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe it worked out just like I planned it. You tried to close everything in a panic. That's funny. And you know what? We could do five, 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 which would be even better. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's better. Yeah, it was a little bit of reverse psychology on my part. Okay, okay, let's we'll, we'll, we'll watch part four. Now I'm invested. I gotta know what happens in my 12 year old Amnesia the Dark Descent Let's Play. Well, ju it's just this one, just this one. Then we're then we're done. We're done with you. No more, no more 23 year old John over here. Okay, I can't, I can't stand him. We could, we could do nine more minutes though. Okay. Hello, All friends. Right. We are back with Amnesia part four. Hello, friends. Really presumptuous, don't you think? Friends. Remember the last video when he said, hello, everyone? Four. All right. 
When we last left off, um, some scary things were happening. Dude, nothing scary was happening. Nothing scary has happened so far. It's just been it's just been you refusing to go into rooms because it quote looks like there could be a monster in there. <laughs> That's it. I heard some weird noise over here. I don't like it. Okay. Just gonna go. Oh. Cave in. Something caved in. Oh. Okay. What was that noise? That was me hitting the chair. Okay. Alright. Uh Ooh. Man, you just give me all the tinder boxes. Who is playing that music? Okay. What's this? Oh, What's you here? have to you have to open that. Fragile but not breakable by hand. Well, I I just broke it by hand. I I do you know what? I'm not sure why that was in the game. Because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to pick up an object and throw it at the wall. But you can't just come up and spam click it with your hand, even though it says not breakable by hand. It's like the, the developers frictional were just like, all right, what do we do if they're an idiot? <laughs> what do we do if they're just like if they just can't take any direction at all? We gotta have it. We gotta have to be able to do it somehow. And then this is how it happened. <laughs> I just clicked it a bunch of times. Okay. I think you're supposed to throw something in it, though. What, what? Well, you know, at least you're aware. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, that. What? What was that? Let me check my mementos. Some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history room. <laughs> You're serious? That was it? Oh, <laughs> easy puzzle. I played Portal 2. I know what I'm doing. But uh, listen to this guy. Oh, Get a load of this dude. One. I played Portal. Oh no. Why are there these random candles? That's uh, right. Don't mess with me. That. Hello. Can I pick uh, up a brick? Yes, the ultimate puzzle game, Portal 2. I'm gonna break the glass. Oh yeah, now I can take the note. Local folklore. I already know I'm not gonna read this. Uh. I'm not gonna read this. Don't even pretend like you're reading. He is haunted by the dark. Ask any local when you hear proof of the widespread superstition. He's pretending to read it. Oh, what? What are these? Ah, I don't have to read these. Okay. The story reaches all the way back to the time. It said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods. Okay. Did you, notice, Damn. did you did you did you notice how he did that? He was like, he was like, oh, I gotta read the whole thing, and then he didn't go all the way back to page one. He like, <laughs> he like, he like skipped reading a page. To roam the grounds, their bodies rot by their tainted souls have lit them disfigured and empty of essence. Okay, so they're called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. Damp burlap sacks. I don't like yep. that. You know, you could just read it out loud. I don't like it. This. It won't. It won't Be kill you. Barren. I don't like that. Okay, okay. never mind. We're done. We're done I guess we just won't know what's story. happening. And Wait. you won't either. Wait. And I'm sure that won't be frustrating at any point. Oh yeah, I get to destroy this book too. Can I burn it? Oh, too busy. Too busy messing burn. around trying to burn. burn books on candles. I'll stop wasting time. Ooh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> That's a much bigger priority. Got one. There's another one. Oh, yeah. Doing it. Oh, yeah. Doing it. Nice. <laughs> it's good to have a hiding place. Okay. Now, remember, at this point, 
I'm trying to act like I've never, like I don't know what happens next. But I have seen other YouTubers at this point play through this part. So I know what's about to happen. And that's why I opened up the bookcase. 23-year-old John Wolf exposed. What, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Good thing I did that. Good thing I did that. Good thing. Good thing I did that. Good thing. Good thing. Now I, oh, the thing I, is, the thing is that I don't know. Here's what here's what he doesn't know. Okay. Batman Riddler meme. Does he know? Um, he doesn't know that you're not actually in danger at this part. That you're not actually in danger yet. But for some reason, I'm under the impression I, I'm I'm still like bright-eyed and bushy-tailed about video games at this point, and I think that anything is possible. And so I think that I, I'm genuinely in danger at like any moment because I don't understand like the idea of like scripted sequences and things like that. And so I'm I'm just like there's just, I in my opinion, it, it, I, there's there's just like monsters just like wandering around there, and you just never know. Oh, so. he's so dead. This is a good test for me. I just heard something. I heard something. What was that? That is not fair. You can't just make a noise and then do that. Okay. <laughs> you can't just make noise and then. I totally heard something. Do that. <laughs> I don't want to go. Okay. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. You want to know the sad part? Okay. I'm like I'm like exposing all these things about it, but the the part about me being scared is not fake. <laughs> That's not a lie. I I actually I actually. I actually am really dreading going out there. So just wanted to mention that. That's not that's not an act. I'm so scared. Oil. Oil. Oh, that door is totally open. Oil to your right. Gonna shut On the bookshelf. That door, that door bookshelf. was totally open. It was oh totally my God. closed before. If you were not going to oh, get that, oh I was going God. to okay. have a migraine, okay. I am scared. What's this? Let me I it. am scared. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with the absent-minded handling of the human vessels. Ah, absent-minded handling of the human vessels, excuse me? Regarding closing of the wine cellar. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. Wait, what? They can rot. Oh. Oh, he sealed them in the wine cellar. What a despicable human being you are, Alexander. You didn't even read it. <laughs> okay. You like skimmed it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> There's nothing. Uh, I hate places to sit. I hate places Poor to sit. For me to throw around. Okay. This is for my protection. This little inkwell. Don't want to read the notes in a story-driven game. I Would much rather around. throw books around. Scary. This is scary. This is too scary. I don't want to do it. Can I call? Oh, Damn, I, I think I, got the, I think the reason I did that is because I was stalling because uh, I, I, I like legitimately was chicken. scared and didn't want to go out there. So I, th I think that's why <laughs> I, I keep going around to. like I I'm gonna throw the book something. around and stuff. I heard it. No. Oh God. What the, what the hell? Whoa, I'm going all the way back, and I'm, I'm going in here. I can't see anything. Okay, you guys ready to not see anything? I love oh, not being able to see what anything. What was that? That was so stupid. <laughs> Walk into a room. Am I safe? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I mean, you're talking shit now, <laughs> but I'm you're the one hiding in the now. cabinet. I don't want to go out there. Oh, that was uh, so annoying. Bro, you can't act tough. Okay. Okay, I can do this. He's acting all tough am, right now. I am strong and capable. I am Daniel. Okay. For uh, okay. real, though. Time to go. Oh, my God. You know, an interesting thing about this part, I've played in Music of the Dark Descent so many times that I know this stuff. You, you have to work really hard 
despite the fact that it sounds like the monster's right there, um, you have to work really hard for them to go after you here. If you just, like, play it normally and just, like, cautiously move into the room, um, the monster's scripted to just leave over there. The only way that you can get in trouble here is if you literally sprint directly towards them. Sorry, I know nobody cares. I'm scared. Wait, wait, there's no... Wait, wait, that's not my line. There's no light! There's no light. There used to be a light in here. You have a lantern. You have a lantern. Oh Did you forget? He, I think he forgot. Oh my god, okay, this is the way out. Oh, 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 oh god, okay. Phew, it's to the left. It's, <laughs> uh, it's to the left. Man, I, I can't imagine oh playing games god. like this now. Here I go. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? I'm going, I'm going. Oh, did you guys hear that? That was, oh, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> what was that Chewbacca sound? Did you hear that? That was like... <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, it just never stops. What's going on now? Dear God. That is stupid. What is all this? Cra Ow! That, that hurt. That hurt me. All, all is good. <laughs> uh... I, I, I counterplay. He I'm jumped so over it. <laughs> okay, this is a good time to stop. Uh, if you enjoyed, this is a, this is a good time to stop. Scream, which I haven't done any screaming yet, but I will. Trust me. Uh, like this actually, video, literally. I actually don't know if you do. Do do I scream in this playthrough? I don't think I do. I think I. That's about as crazy as it gets. Leave a nice comment and subscribe. For whenever I. Get those freaking Brink videos up. Okay. What? Guys. I was playing through Brink at the time? Oh, wow. Okay. Brink. Anybody remember that game? <laughs> that's, a, that's a blast from the past. Oh, we got a pink beard. Well, it's about, it's about to come off, so enjoy it while you can. There's only uh, $250 left. We're at $44,763.44, guys. Um, let me check up on donations. Justin Cole, thanks, thank you. Is it Cheryl or Heather debate? No, please, God, no. Don't do it, chat, don't fall for it. Literal nugget. Thank you, KJ Moss, Erm Dracula, Puma, Zora Borealis, Anonymous, Han Solo, and Lauren. Thank you for all the donations of $10 and $25. If we get $250, well, even less than that, $236.56. That's right, I can do math. Don't be jealous. We will hit $45,000, and we are going to make Jeff the CFO a pediatric brain tumor foundation shave off his newly pink beard can we see the pink beard as he says ooh can we you know what maybe we'll see it when it gets shaved off we could see it when it gets shaved off either one we don't want to put we don't want to put too much on jeff's plate he's got a lot that he's doing for us he's dying his beard he's shaving it off there's a lot happening. Oh, he's in the process of dying it still? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, don't rush him, chat. Damn. You guys, I I disclaim. I disclaim all the rushing that's happening right now. You know what would be great, guys? Is if I did a little bit of Dead by Daylight as Cheryl. What do you guys think? Because there's, like there's like an event right now. I don't, I don't know if you guys know that. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. There we go. Sorry, it did that thing. You know, have you guys ever had it with like your internet? Um, internet dips out and then there's like a million pop-ups of like, 
ah, the certificate of the thing is, do you want to proceed? You have to hit yes or no. Am I the only one that gets that? And there, there's like 400 of them and you have to hit yes like a million times. Yes, yes, yes. Because <laughs> I just had to do that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's play a little DBD. Why not? I haven't played DBD all month. I have not played it all month. We can do like a couple of, we could do a couple of like nice little, uh, oh, we just hit 45,000. Oh, hang on. Hold on, DBD. We did it. Anonymous with the 250. Don't look. A 250. I need some sort of like celebration music. What's some celebration music? What's 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 like a what's like a pump up song? Oh, I know, I know. We're we're gonna get a copyright claim for this. <laughs> um. Hang on. Oh, do I have to reopen Spotify? Hang on, I think I have to reopen it because I think it I think it got upset when I lost internet access. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Copyright claim incoming! Yeah! I can't hear it anymore. What's happening? <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Okay, anyway. There we go. We hit $45,000. What song is this? This is uh, Pump It by Electric Callboy. Who are who are a really fun band. You should watch their music videos. Watch Hypa Hypa first. That's the best one. Sethunia and Starflesh. Thank you for the $20 and $100 respectively. Thanks, y'all. Guess what? The CFO. A pediatric brain tumor foundation is now contractually contractually obligated to uh, shave their beard, and it's gonna happen thanks to all of you guys. And also, we have entered in a new stage, the final stage, I would say, of the charity stream. Um, did we oh, did we get a raid? I don't have a. Uh, Oh, send the pink and prize. Okay, okay, hang on. So I'm so sorry. I have my my Twitch notifications off right now. But thank you so much to for the raid. Whoever raided us, I'm so sorry about that. I'm we're raising money for charity at the moment. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. You guys are gonna like this. Hang on, I'm 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 uh, I'm getting it up. <laughs> I'm getting the pictures up. <laughs> Hang on, my, my computer is acting like it's acting like it, it it doesn't know the drill here. Okay, we got two different we've got two different ones to see. Are y'all ready? There it is. Y'all did that. <laughs> There's that pink beard in process. And here we go. There's a little bit more of a finished one right there. Now, this is great and all, but we're gonna be saying goodbye to it. So don't get too attached, okay, chat? <laughs> don't get too attached because <laughs> it's coming off. Cause we hit $45,000, so Jeff's gonna shave that off. But yeah, good job, everybody. You know what? If if uh, y'all hadn't voted for pink, there's a different reality where this beard is blue, and there's another there's an alternate reality where it's red as well. So 
You know, your choices matter is basically what I'm saying. This isn't a telltale game. Your choices actually matter in this life. <laughs> and, and this is a great example of that. <laughs> so great job, everybody. $45,345. Now, we have an anonymous donor as well that is going to be um, matching our post $45,000 donations up to $5,000. So if we can hit $45,000... Uh, we will actually hit 55,000. Set an update. He did a pink mustache. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me pull it up. Ah, <laughs> There we go. I like how into it he's getting. This is great. Now, again... Don't get too attached, because it's not going to be around for too long. It's coming off, and we'll celebrate it. We're going to be like this. This is going to be us during the shave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, Jet? Uh... Anyway, thank you guys so much for allowing this to be possible. Um, oh, it's not on live. I wish that I could just permanently tick this to be live. Karen, thank you for the $200. I thought I missed one. Thank you so much. Appreciate ya. That is huge. Thank you everybody who's uh, donated tonight. Um, I know Nora carried us for a while there, uh, for a while there and uh, that matching donation stuff is is really cool i'm gonna be using that a lot moving forward on on future charity streams because that's that's a really fun way to um to to get people moving i love it great job team you know what can i also say can i also say something in all seriousness let's get serious for a second okay this this song's a little too fun we need some, we need some, where's, where's like the Markiplier piano music? We need something sad. <laughs> okay, here we, oh, okay, here we go, here we go. I, I got the per, I got the perfect, I got the perfect mood, uh, mood maker here. Here we go. Okay. This is it. I know, Dead by Daylight, hang on, Dead by Daylight's ruining it. You know what? I'm quitting. Okay, there we go. I got rid of Dead by Daylight. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's bring it in, guys. You know, I know there, that, that you guys on YouTube and you all on Twitch, you all have had your differences, but it really means a lot to me that you guys set aside your differences and you came together to raise all this money for charity. It really means a lot to me. You know, there've been petty squabbles. There have been some words exchanged by both sides that I know you both didn't mean, but in the end, you set aside your differences and you came together for a wonderful cause. And I think that that's really beautiful. And I just wanted to take a moment to recognize that uh, when we all recognize what's important, we can all create the change that we want to see in the world. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to time it with the end of the song. <laughs> you know what? Stardew, Stardew Valley uh, actually kind of a fire soundtrack. I don't know why. Actually, you know what? Hot take, but Stardew Valley soundtrack actually kind of good. I'm just kidding. Everyone, everyone knows it. Everyone knows this. The soundtrack, the soundtrack is great. Uh, right back to uh, let's see. Taylor, thanks for the one hundred dollars. Literal nugget, thanks for the five bucks. Anonymous, thank you. Why wow, you guys don't waste any time? So back to DBD, is it? Hey, weren't you gonna play? <laughs> hey, didn't he say he was gonna play DBD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like. Okay, okay. 
Hang on one second, okay? I gotta, I gotta pull it back up. I closed it earlier because it was, it was disrupting Grandpa's theme. But yeah, they're doing a uh, bone chill event right now or something. So we can play as Cheryl or, or Heather in the game. And then it'll be super immersive because I'm I'm about to... You know what? You know what? I've got an idea. I've, here's what I'm going to do. Give me one second. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Bobby pin. Bobby pin, take me home. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna put a bobby pin in this one too. That's right. The power of the bobby pin. Okay. Thank you. It was just, it was getting in my hair too much. I couldn't stand it anymore. Okay, I love the Stardew Valley soundtrack, but actually with DVD in the background, it kind of doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> It doesn't make any sense to do it like that. Oh, actually, you know, we should do this one. Let's see. This holiday season comes a toy you'll simply die for. Your new Wait, what? best friend is back with his signature stripes and lifelike eyes. This I actually haven't played against Chucky yet. He's ready for some fun. You'll want to keep an eye on him. You never know what trouble he'll get into next. If you lose track of him, don't fret. He'll always find his way back to you. Bring home your friend till the end. Cause if you don't... Dead. You hear me? Dead. Disassembly of parts, body and otherwise, may be required. Good guys is not That's responsible good. for naming. Dismember That's fine. Amputation, laceration, strangulation, bodily harm, or death of any kind. Adult supervision recommended. Ah, okay. Yeah, let's check it out. Mods are being sorely tested tonight. Oh no. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. Um Don't be don't forget to claim your 400,000 blood points. Right. Wow, let's go. Okay. Bone chill. What's the event tome? Let me check it out. Okay. Well, Oh, you get like currency that you can spend on cosmetics. Oh, I see. Okay, that's uh oh. Ah, oh, there was a reset and I didn't even have any ranks to reset. That's so you know it's bad. Let's see. Okay. Oh yeah, so those of you that don't play Dead by Daylight, uh yeah, Nicolas Cage is in the game. <laughs> Just so you know. Oh, damn. All right. Yui's got a, an outfit. We stand a queen. Thanks. Oh, my God. I'm getting this Jane outfit. Slay queen, right? Literally. Wait, what is this? Thanks. Okay. Well, it's it loses points for being a nurse skin. I'd have to play nurse. Ha what? A hag skin and a nurse skin. Gross. What is this? Okay, well, you know. They can't all be winners, right? You know, can I just say something about DBD real quick? All right, I... The, the game is seven years old. Why is there not like a scroll button here? Why is it just like, well, we can show you the nine newest cosmetics. But then... <laughs> that's it. Oh, Ri oh, Ripley's got a. Oh, we gotta get the. We gotta get her a sweater. Come on. Yeah, why can't we get. I mean, like, I know that. I know that Thanks. I ask for a lot, but. Oh, now we can't afford the Ash sweater. That's too bad. 
Rainbow Six Siege Collection? What year is it? How long was I asleep? What? What did they do this? Okay. I say this as someone that loves Rainbow Six Siege, okay? I love that game. One of my favorites. Thanks. As far as multiplayer goes. However, of all the IPs to do a cosmetic collab with, Rainbow Six Siege is probably the worst. Out of all the multiplayer games I play, Siege has the worst cosmetic game, bar none. I am I am shocked that they chose to do that. Oh, hey, you want you want to give you want to make them look like they've got armor on? Hey, what if they had like five pouches on them? What about some belts, bro? Let's put some belts on them. You ever wonder what Hanato would look like with a beret? Come on, man. Siege, Siege needs to get with the program and, and have some fun. It's not gonna kill ya. It's, it's like the one thing in that game that's not Thanks. gonna kill ya, actually, is some fun. Thanks. How come Fung, how come Fung doesn't have a siege outfit? Yeah, I don't know. So wait, where's the um Ah. Uh -huh. So this is the event store. Okay, so this is a Jeff Oh, it's a Jeff skin. Uh, Wraith. Oh, who's is this? Christmas sweaters. Oh, Gabriel and Talita and Hinatu. Okay. And Skull Merchant. Okay, well, phew, nothing, like, super necessary. Perfect. Uh, okay, let's see, where is she? Where's our queen? Oh, well, okay, that's, that's not who we want, really. Okay, not that one. Um, yeah. You know what, maybe we'll take the spaghetti sauce off just for this time. I don't know. She looks so good in it, though. But I'm not. I'm not wearing the spaghetti sauce. I gotta get immersed. All right, yeah. Let's do it. We can play. We can play a match or two. Was it hit a survivor with your weapon ten times? Uh, escape three chases. Let's. Oh, I'm rusty. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh. Let's take a let's take a quick quick check on uh Here we go. We're at $45,781. So let's see. I've missed a couple John Thanks. L, Electo, Anonymous, Kriva, um, Devora, Slay Queen Slay, Anonymous, Simric, Demburi, thank you for the $100. No sleep till 50k. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm all caught up, I think. Yes. Thank y'all for the donations. Um, we're, we're coming up on 50,000, which is. Pretty incredible. All right, can I survive in this game? <laughs> Don't look at my prestige, okay? I'm only 12 on this character. Oh, let's see, we got Kindred open-handed. We'll make it lithe, sure, with a gray. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Let's go. Look at that, look at that screwed up snowman in the background. <laughs> By the way, if you're just joining the stream and you want to make a donation, um, 
please uh, please check the Tiltify link. It should be either in chat or if you're on YouTube, there's one in the stream description. Please make uh, any donations through that service. We're trying to hit 50,000 by now, which we have an anonymous donor who is going to be donating, matching dollar for dollar, whichever, whatever we raise between 45 and $50,000. So it'll go through 55,000, which is gonna be really awesome. That'll be the most that we've ever raised for um, a fundraiser, if we are so lucky as to hit it. So that's, I mean, I hate to say it's only $4,200, but it's pretty, and that's, uh, considering we've already raised like 45,000 and in just under six hours, I, I think we could do that no problem. Oh my God, I forgot Hawkins was back. They took this map out of rotation. I mean, it's probably old news now, but. Uh, okay, I need to remember how to play. I'm gonna get told out of the game. Oh, they've got, was it ultimate weapon? Is that what that is? Yeah, it's gonna be blindness, okay. It's a xenomorph perk, fuck. I'm rusty, y'all. I haven't played in a, like a month and a half. Ah, oh, damn. Playtime is over. Can someone give me a brief synopsis of DVD? Uh, stay away from the bad guy. It's basically a multiplayer version of indie horror games. And you try to do, you try to complete generators. If you look in the lower left, it says five next to the generator icon. As survivors, you're trying to get that to say zero. Is he after me right now? He is, he's trying to tunnel me. Well, I'll try to I'll try to take him, but fuck. Okay, he's actually chasing Claudette right now. I'm gonna try to heal up. Wesker hates charity, bro. I'm just saying it's in character, isn't it? Do you think he? Oh gosh. He's over here. This sucks. Are you serious? The, the Claudette's giving up. That sucks. Well. He was uh, camping and I, uh, I went down in one hit. Okay, well the game's over because this person's giving up. So it's over. Is that all you Might as well just go next. You know what? It makes sense. It makes sense that this is. It makes sense that this is my first game uh, in a Thanks. month and a half. This is about how it goes. Everybody acting like it's esports out here. Yeah, that Claudette just like threw. Like, there's no way that we can. Thanks, Hanatsu. I just noticed that you don't have a beard. Uh, yeah, it's been gone for about uh, eight hours. Sorry, I don't know why I said that like a jackass. <laughs> this is why you stopped playing DVD. I mean. You know, I, I, I've got like almost 3,000 hours in DVD. I, I enjoyed it for a long time, but yeah, I don't know. 
There's nothing really that interesting about having to play against a Wesker like this. It's just like, I think the game is fun for what it is, and I think that they do their best trying to balance it, but yeah. I mean, it's never going to be esports balance. I have played the game for years. Thanks. Twitch chat, I'm sorry, but it's cracking me up how YouTube chat is talking about this game right now. John was obsessed with this game for years. Oh, was I? I know real. I don't think we have the same definition, but... I'll try to get one... De uh, I'll try to get one generator done, just for pride's sake. Wait, where's Gabriel? I literally don't know where he is. Oh, I'm blind right now. Oh, they're both over here. Uh, okay, Gabriel gave up. Hey, Natsu, if you're not gonna let me give up, I'm gonna hook you for the points. I don't think he's after me, actually. Is he after me? I gotta escape. Okay, well, um, last person's dying now, so I have a chance at the hatch. I'm probably not gonna get it. But we'll see. Getting the locker to dodge ultimate weapon. Yeah, that is pretty boring. Oh my god. Let's see if I can get away with this. I probably can't. He's probably gonna come up and check the corners. Yeah, he's gonna check it. All right, well, whatever. I'll take the 4K. One stop, bro. Something's off with this Wesker. I could say something really mean right now, but I won't. Not during the charity stream. I can think of a couple things that are off with him, yeah. Yeah, he's really good at the game, alright. GG. I love it. I love it when like the game was like a total nothing burger and they're like GG It's like oh okay here we go Sardi Valley music making me feel good about myself again <laughs> Uh let me check Tiltify how we doing over there Lizzie Vampy thanks for the five dollars Generate thanks for the twenty five Ari thanks for the fifty Anonymous thanks for the ten Thank you so much. Appreciate all Thanks. the uh, uh, donations. Anonymous, thank you for $25. That puts us over $49,900 raised. Salty, I see. Have you ever played this game? 
I don't think you've ever played this game. That's not salty. <laughs> Y'all, literally, if you haven't played DBD, you don't know what salt is. You just don't. You don't know it. No, no, yes. You don't know what you're talking about. Thanks. If you think that's salt, that's nothing. Gamers get so serious around here, man. Especially with DBD. People like... Unless you play the game like this. And then when you die, you go like, rip, go next. Then people are like, what, you salty? You gonna cry? You gonna piss your pants? Like, they get all fucking weird about it. <laughs> oh, I think people should be allowed to play however they want to, actually. There's always that crowd that pipes up. And it's always the killer only players. People should be able to play however they want, except, uh, not gen rushing. Except for doing gens. That's not, that's not allowed. But other than that, Thanks. I can tunnel and camp and play however I want. I can play, oh, let me tell you how this works. I can play however I want, but you cannot. Okay, I love, I love you, Stardew, but... I gotta get I gotta get in the zone for my esports game, Corrupt Intervention, okay. Yeah. Yeah. What a fun Thanks. what a fun lackadaisical school group we have. It's a nurse. We're playing against a nurse, so this is going to be I mean, I might as well just like Alt F4. Nurse with Thanks. ultimate weapon. Okay. Is she gonna go after me? Let's see if I can hide in this bush. This is pretty, this is pretty much the only way that you can have fun against Nurse, is doing stuff like this. Let's see if she'll notice. Thanks. Okay, well, I'm sorry. She'll go after me, hopefully. Is she seriously gonna tunnel that Nia? Okay, sorry, Nia. I should have gotten into a locker, I guess, but... Okay, now I know. Whenever uh, they hook somebody, I'll go into a locker so they don't ultimate weapon right away. That sucks. It's a nurse, though. I was hoping she would go after me, but... The raised soft cap? Coming to say good night. Oh, isn't that so sweet? Oh, I was too quick. Thanks. Hey, hi. Uh, hi, girl. Oh, you watching me? You watching me play a really fun game of Dead by Daylight? Oh, <laughs> this is all I need. Are you enjoying it? You enjoying it? Is she still after me? I can't tell. No, she's not. I don't have my headphones on. The 
get tacos? Uh, absolutely I do. Poblano sauce. Ooh, from Torchies. That sounds great. Is it doctor? It's a nurse. Oh. Yeah, she's got a scream perk. I'm gonna see if I can. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh she grabbed. She grabbed my. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Damn, I ran into something. Can you believe that? Oh, we got three gens getting worked on though. <laughs> oh, are you putting her on the... <laughs> you, can, you can hold her if you want to. Oh, oh, oh. You got her? There, hang on. <laughs> oh, this is she a... Wants <laughs> she wants the mic. Oh. Are you watching? <laughs> Thanks. She's the streamer now. <laughs> oh, did you, did you hold it? Oh, it's okay. Are you okay? <laughs> I laugh scared her. <laughs> oh. Good job, girl. to play and, and hold a baby at the same time. Do you want me to lower your desk? Uh, yeah, actually, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Oh. I'm going for it. believe what's uh, happening right now uh, I'm getting destroyed by a nurse player uh, uh, and dead by daylight uh, Ooh, we, had, uh, thanks. we had forty six thousand dollars yay wow that's amazing that's awesome yeah. oh oops I missed it okay I gotta I gotta I get these she's like no I'm not a monkey to dance <laughs> oh, nice. Got sweetie face. Oh. Got you, sweetie. We know how to adjust her. See if I can. I think I can heal this, Rebecca. Cracking me up. I wanted to heal them, but didn't end up working out. She's a nurse player. I think she's got me here. 
Yeah, she's got me. She is trying so hard to pull this. I know, she wants to pull this. What do you want to do with that exactly? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Gotten her with the ballot. Oh. Now you must lie there and think about what you've done. What are you doing? Thanks. <laughs> what are you doing? She's crazy. Oh, thank you, Nia. Thanks. I'm playing with the baby and no audio right now. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thanks. You did do a great job. Well, thank you. Cord. That's a cord. These survivors I'm with are, are pretty good. Microphone. Oh. Sorry, y'all. I don't know. And it's probably not that crazy. Okay, I am surprised. I thought we were like done for with this game, but yeah. What do you even do with this for? Collect snow skulls. Oh, that's cool. Oh. You can throw a snow skull. Yeah, apparently. I had no idea. Like at the killer? I don't know. I don't know what they do. Yeah, team is doing great. I'm really determined to get this gen done. The killer can throw them too? Yeah, fat chance of that. That would require them having fun. That sounds adorable. <laughs> oh, they don't really do anything. Oh, that's so fun. Oh my gosh. Yum, yum. Is that a yummy cord? They've got Dead Man yummy. Switch. Oh, uh, I was going for the... Okay, you're going for the safe. Where's another generator? Well, there's this one. Surprise, surprise. Too busy 4K'ing every single game. They only throw snow skulls when you're hooked. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. What are you doing? You are such a crazy girl. I'm assuming that Nia's got the unhook here. I know that she's got the nurse after her, but she's been doing really well. I'm actually, we might stand a chance of winning this game. I don't think so, but yeah, because Nia just went down. Actually, I'm not really sure what gens are have like progress on them. Oh, oh, come on! I'm gonna try to get Nia. Getting anger fire. Yeah. Damn. I. Yeah. 
I didn't do well enough, but that's okay. It's almost like I've got a little bit of a distraction. Oh. Need to just hit the dead hard, I think, or or maybe they got hit with the. Oh, what? Or what? This Nia is. This Nia means business. I think I think she's she's like another space here though. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, your old tilted by alerts are back on. Oh, they are? Yeah, I think it's... Oh, the, uh, the Streamlabs ones. Yeah, the Streamlabs ones turned on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you having a good time? Are you having fun watching this? Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to say goodnight to you after this. I'm going to be so shit. They faked out the. Ah! I wonder if that I wonder how that nurse would feel if they knew that they were playing against somebody without headphones on, holding a baby, and they and they. <laughs> they let them they let them get down to one den. Yeah, I know, but just let me have this, okay? What thing? The, oh, the Yunjin? I just like it because it's my. She's my main. Oh. You don't want to collect the points on it? Oh. What is, what is this? Chat! What is this? Thanks. It's like a little bonfire or something? Okay. Icons and banners? Icons and banners? Oh. I d oh, I don't have one. Okay. <laughs> All right, girly. You <laughs> she wants she wants that microphone. <laughs> she looks crazy. She looks crazy. She does look crazy. Are you look crazy? Are you crazed? You look crazy. Look at you. Look at you. You want that microphone so bad. Give it to me. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You want that microphone? <laughs> Look at you go. Well, I'm gonna have to say good night to you. Say good night. Good night, little girl. Say good night to everybody. My hair is crazy. I know. Good night. Good night, everyone. <sighs> oh. Uh, she loves you. Love you too. And let me know what you want from Torchy, so I'll order it. Okay. Yeah, I'll message you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's reaching out for you. <gasps> oh. Yeah? Want a little handshake for the night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't see it. She's smiling. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good night. Good night, CK. Um, yeah, it's getting a little hot in here. It's getting hot in here. So what? Uh, okay. Wait, is it still happening? The Rebecca lasted that whole time. Interesting. Okay. Hang on. Oh. There we go. Oh my gosh. There we go. That's <laughs> that's the stuff. Um, the nurse is being really cringe right now. I just want you to know. <laughs> they're, they're saying, they're saying, a good game. Oh, good game. I almost lost you, my little slug. And with that, we're gonna hit continue. And uh, move on to, you know what? Maybe we're done with DVD for the night. <laughs> it's a, it only took two. It only took two batches for me to be like, yeah, you know, it was a nice idea. I was like, I'm cosplaying as Heather. I could play as Heather. But yeah, I think I'm good. I, I I forgot. I was like, "There's an event going on, right?" And I forgot that during events in Dead by Daylight, um, people play 
like they're being held captive by Jigsaw. And if they don't get a 4K, then the reverse bear trap goes off. So, forget it. <laughs> um, okay. Here, let's do let's do the cosplay cam. Okay, well, you can't really see me. Hi. Well, yeah, this is not a great angle. Okay, well, you know what? If we if we move it down. You can see the whole thing. Including the boots. No, you can't see the boots. Okay, wait. Now you can see the boots. I gotta figure out I've gotta figure out a better setup for this. Because <laughs> I gotta figure out a way for you guys to see the full cosplay without being like a, uh, being like an awkward angle. There's no good way to do it. <sighs> okay. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll be a photo sesh. Well, okay. Here's here's the problem. Um, CK's been having a really tough time going to sleep the last few nights. So I don't know how much longer she'll be awake. Uh, and I need Kimmy to kind of take the photos. So, I don't know. We're hoping... We, unfortunately, we've, we've got to start sleep training CK soon. Um, because... She had like really bad gas a couple days ago and it kept her up and now her sleep schedule is all wonky and she like won't go to sleep. So she was up all night last night. And like if 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 she it, it was amazing. We would like Kimmy and I would both hold her until she was like passed out. She'd be snoring, she'd be totally limp. She'd be like 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 mouth just wide open you know, pass out. And then we would, we would like take her and we'd be like. Into the crib. And immediately she would be like. And then we'd have to pick her up again. So we, last night we were like, okay, we can't keep doing this. We got to figure out a way to, so we, we got to start sleep training her, I guess. Uh, so that she can start going to sleep without us, um, which is tough. We didn't for some, like because she up until this point, like she's been really good about sleeping. So yeah, but like now she she like basically won't go to sleep, um, unless it's like on top of us. So we're trying to figure that out, and of course it's like great timing because I had this scheduled and you know, but whatever. She might be teething. Um, she might be. She's really drooly. But we'll see. Well, we've we've been we we've had to basically co-sleep with her, yeah, past couple nights. But uh, yeah, we're, we're we're figuring it out. We will figure it out anyway. More food does not work. No. Because she... That's what we're used to doing. That's usually the answer. Is we... We are like, okay, time for you to eat. You're hungry. But she's not just hungry. Anyway. Um, let's check in on... Our, our little stretch goals here. We're at $46,250. Uh, $252.10 actually. Which is pretty exciting. Um, now remember, we're trying to get to fifty thousand if we can. So I don't know if uh, I don't know if anybody's got any juice left in them. I'm gonna read some donations out though. Let's see. We got Lee. Thank you. Lemmy Tease. Thank you. Carmen and Maria. Thank you. Sport. Wernstrom. Anonymous. Zorora. Uh, Zor Zora Borealis. Danielle. Rue and Batali, thank you all so much for your donations. Excuse me. Um, thank you, thank you. I know I'm missing some people. I'm sorry. I'm I'm using the 
I'm using the Tiltify list, and sometimes it, it lists them out of order once it gets past like the first 10, so. No, she doesn't have, I don't think she has colic. She she has been, like during the day, she's a dream. It's it's only when she's put down in her crib that she's like, I don't like this. But during the day, she's completely normal. Yeah, she's just being, she's just being a baby. She's having some sleep regression. She's having some, you know, normal baby stuff. Some separation anxiety, yeah. It's all pretty normal stuff. We just, we didn't think that, it just kind of like came out of nowhere. That's all. We're figuring out how to, how to work through it. Yeah, you know, every baby's different. Every baby has their different schedule for things, so. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, okay, so stomp, stomp six ways from Sunday. Thanks for the $10. All right, guys. Guess what? I'm standing again. It's that time. Oh. My monitor just came unplugged. Okay. That's right. I'm standing. It's about that time. I'm getting in my in my Chris Farley mode right now. All right. <laughs> so what do we have to do to hit 50,000? What do we gotta do? We gotta come up with some micro goals maybe? You know? Like maybe some like 47, some 48, some 49 type of thing. Cause I can do that. We're on the home stretch guys. You Darkwood people need to respectfully shut up. <laughs> y'all are just like, what about Darkwood? Oh my God. You're like Pokemon. You just say the same thing over and over again. Darkwood, Darkwood, Darkwood. Anyway. So let's, uh, other than that. More like Dorkwood. Oh, wow. Getting roasted. The, the, the sniper roast, the long range. Uh, yeah, I have a Lethal Company video that's actually going to go live in a couple days, so that's taken care of. I mean, uh, if we hit $47,000, uh, I will record a Lethal Company video with Gamsino and Gary. That's what I will do. Uh, starting, I guess, I'll record it tomorrow. If we hit $47,000, that's right. It's already live on Gab's channel. <laughs> that's what you sounded like just now. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, we just got a donation from Anonymous. Thank you for $10. K-Labs, thanks for the $50. Shai-Chan, Annalena. Thank you, Kleiner Kex. Thank you all for the $10. Appreciate it. It's already live. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I'm not much for soy face memes, but <laughs> if I were if I were to, if I were to draw you right now, that I, I can think of the uh, face I'd be using. Oh no, I got some I got some makeup on the microphone when I when I pushed my schnoz into it. Yeah, Gab is streaming from the future. She has a time machine. I'm not sure if you know this. You didn't know that. That's okay. That's all right. We'll we'll uh. We'll let it go. What is Darkwood? No, don't say that. You're gonna you'll summon them, please. Please. It's been it's been like it's <laughs> it's been such a uh It's been such a tormentuous like five years since I recorded that game. Nonstop like no no peace for me ever since then. 
every day it's been like so when are you gonna continue darkwood i want you guys hang on i'm gonna pull up my video on darkwood real quick i want you guys to listen closely yeah that's right you're in trouble right now and you're gonna listen you're gonna listen to what i said Okay, I posted this video January 19th, 2019. Now I want you to listen to what I say at the end of this video. Only familiar features through the Matt v Awesome. Oh, some other stuff, but I want to kind of keep it. Obviously, but that's just what I've heard. And uh, yeah, you know, I don't normally like top down games. In fact, I even said that in my video yesterday. Let's These listen. These things generally aren't my Let's bag, listen to what he says. Which was another reason why it's taken me so long to get around to it. But uh, the atmosphere and the artwork and uh, everything in this game is pretty incredible. And yeah, I, there's a lot of mystery and intrigue with this one. A lot of hopeless, depressing um, world building. Uh -huh. And I got to know what's behind that door in the underground passage 21 be over here? was the key yeah lead to you know so the doctor has Thanks. my key hmm so i've got I don't to go know what he's talking there about and get it i don't know what he's him, talking about right now but where is he i mean i'm i'm guessing somewhere on this map right but yeah let me know what you guys thought about darkwood there's a lot of um you know crafting Thanks. and resource gathering stuff I'm not used to playing in like a horror game so it's hard for me to like compare to anything that I've played but I, I need did you to enjoy it hurry up I did enjoy it so thanks everybody for bugging me persistently to play this because I'm still so, I'm um, salty even then I did enjoy my time but yeah let me know what you guys thought about Darkwood and sorry that was bugging me see look it makes that right angle Thanks. and it lines up with the uh, the walls very satisfying to look at I'll see you guys later. Think critically. Okay, no, that's not... Okay, that's not it. When do I say it? I say it at some point. Hey, guys, it's John. And today we are playing Darkwood, which is a game that I think I've gotten a request for per day for about a year and a half now. I've held right. off on playing it because I knew that I would want to do a full series on it. It's quite a deep game from what I understand. I think if you want to do a full playthrough of it, it's going to take, you know, seven, eight, ten hours or something like that. And it's a top-down survival horror game. Not typically something that does very well on YouTube or, in particular, my channel. So I just haven't done it. But I will be doing this video at least, at least this video which is going to be a first impressions video. Just see what it's like. And I've heard it's very good. It has very positive reviews on Steam and I'm excited to check it out. So, sorry, I, I, you could probably feel the tension in the air right now because <laughs> like I said, I get a comment about this game like once per day for about a year and a half. And after a while, it's just like, fine, fine, I'll play it. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. Oh yeah, something different Saturday. That's what this is. Oh, something that I forgot. Okay, wait. I thought I was like I thought it was like a lot more clear. At some point in that video, I say I'm not doing a full playthrough of this game. Apparently, it wasn't at the very beginning or the very end. I could have sworn it was. But at some point, I was very clear like this is just a first impressions video and I'm not doing a series on this. And it doesn't stop anyone. I'm like shouting. Okay, close my door. And it hasn't stopped anyone from bugging me about it. What about Darkwood? What about Darkwood? What about Darkwood? I just want you guys to know that you're like the most annoying group of people on the planet. You Darkwood people. That's what I just wanted you to know. If you, if you if you go to a party and you see people like kind of shifting away from you, you know, not not wanting to like like trying to end the conversation, maybe stop talking to them about Darkwood. Maybe stop telling every single person you know about it. You know, it's good to hold secrets. You want to leave some intrigue for other people. Anyway, 
Let's catch up on donations. Um, <laughs> Metalhead Gamer, thanks for the 25 bucks. Micro Goal Fortnite Match. Wow, that's a really... I'm not sure how much that's going to get people out of their seats. But thank you for the $3. Raven Inquisitor, thank you. Kroik, Hyacinth Lee, Charmander, thank you for the $100, Charmander. Jazare, Toad, Perpetual Melody, Mihan, Mi, uh, Mig, Milligram? It's just MG. How am I supposed to pronounce that? Thank you for the $5. Thank you, y'all. We're at $46,684. Okay. Okay, let me think. Let's do, you know what? I've got an idea. Let's do one for $47,000. And then we'll do one for 48 and 49. We can come up with micro goals. All right. I, I need I need some like I need some like real suggestions, okay? Not just like play this game, okay? We need something that like we can do, some kind of like something that's interesting. Yeah? Something 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 cool, something interesting. Let's brainstorm. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We're not out of this yet. Wake up. Don't fall asleep. All right, how could I forget? At $47,000, I will record a lethal, lethal punk uh, company game. <laughs> lethal punkany? That's not a that's not a word. Okay, okay, wait. Debunk ghost video? I mean, I could do that. At 47,000, play Jingle Bells on that keyboard? I don't know if I know how to play Jingle Bells, just off the top of my head. I mean, isn't it the bam, 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 It's like the same note. I do not want to, I, I will say I do not want to use the keyboard. I, I really, something about playing music in front of other people really just does not, I get a lot of anxiety from that. I'll do a lot. I'll, I'll do this in front of in front of people, but I, I I don't like performing music. I would need to prepare beforehand if I were to do that. I don't. I I especially like. I cannot tell you how nerve wracking it is. How, how nerve wracking it has been for me to like do like jam sessions with other musicians. I have have always hated that. I, I just going and just like, what are we going to play? I don't know. Just something. What? <laughs> I used to do that in college all the time. And it was always more anxiety inducing than fun for me. Ghost Adventures reaction. I am planning on making some content around Ghost Adventures, but it'll probably be like video essay style. Ghost vids. Okay, you know what? Okay, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Let's do you know. Let, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do some. Let's react to some ghost fits. It's been a while. And if but I'm gonna raise it up. If if we hit forty seven thousand five hundred, I'll I'll react to some ghost videos. Um, we won't do nukes because he can be a little finicky about that. Um, but we'll do like bizarre bub or something. We'll we'll do. We could do chills, but. We could react to chills. I've done that before, but it's been a minute. But yeah, 47,500, we'll do one, okay? We'll do it live too. Nuke posted a new video all fresh for the picking. He doesn't like, he doesn't like it when you react to his new vid that just got published though. You gotta wait a little bit. Is there a goal for 50K? So right now, 
Right now, after we hit 45,000, every dollar is going to be matched up to 50,000. So we really want to hit 50,000 because it's really going to be 55,000. We have an anonymous donor who's going to be matching donations up to $5,000. So that's why we, that, that's going to be our reward for 50,000 is, is, is hitting 55, really. Uh, I mean, I could come up with something else, maybe. Um, I'm trying to think of something that, like, would be doable off off the cuff and <laughs> nuke still has casper site in reaction jail yeah you know nukes never talked to me about it um i've reacted to a few of nukes videos and he's never said anything to me and i think because i think it's because i like wait a while uh before i react to his videos and when i do react to his videos i only show a few clips from one video i don't show the entire video and meanwhile, Casper site would like drop a full reaction of the full video, like the day it dropped and stuff. So I think that's why he didn't like him doing it. That's my personal theory. I don't know. But it would explain why he's never said anything to me about it. A Pokemon tier list for Gen 2? I would like to do that, but... I'm not sure how motivating that would be as like a uh, uh, an incentive. Sorry, I'm like I'm like starting to drag a little bit. Am I gonna check out Alone in the Dark remake? I actually have a video on my second channel called Gamer Update where I talk about exactly that. The answer is yes. Case cooking. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see if we can, let's let's see if we can hit 47.5. Okay, we're getting close actually. Oh, they're coming through. We're almost at 47,000. I have been going for a while. That's okay. I know we can, I know we can do this though. Anonymous with the 250. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the um for the 250. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Scrub Dad, Anonymous, um, Taco Bell Hotbox, Daddy Warbucks, Select Bard, thank you. Anonymous, thank you for the $100 as well. Leon, thank you. You accidentally donated to the channel? Don't worry about it. It'll, it'll be going to a good cause. I won't be keeping it. So you can still feel good about it. Anonymous, thank you for the $25. But please donate through Tiltify. Don't have to keep the wig on, but it's part of the cosplay. I can't take it off. Come on. Then 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 how will people know who I am? They won't know. We got to keep it. We got to keep it on. Does Torchy's Tacos have a very spicy sauce? No, it does not. Torchy's Tacos spiciest sauce is called Diablo and it's nothing. It is like a joke. I love Torchy's Tacos, but their Diablo sauce is like, it's, it's, it's not even spicy, I would say. Wig break? Okay, phew. You know what, we'll take a break. Hey, how about this? You guys want the wig back on? You're gonna have to raise some money. Oh my God, dude. Oh, holy crap. Oh, you can see, you can see. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. I'll put it back on. I'll put it back on before we end though. Uh, pull the wig cap back. Oh, maybe I should have. Maybe that was the issue. I'm, I, I, it's not like I wear wigs very often, guys. I don't do this often. You know what? We're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have her in the background as a reminder. As a constant reminder of, of what we could. Oh my gosh, my hair's a mess. Bro, <laughs> you can't even see her. 
You can't even see. You can't even see her. She's way back there. Okay, I gotta. I gotta redo this anyway. Damn. Hey, we hit it. We hit it. Meow, meow, we, meow, wheezy. Thank you for the three hundred dollars. Thank you so much. Okay, hang on. CK does your makeup. <laughs> now that would be something. Now that would be, now that would be something for sure. Uh, Josie, great cats feet. Wait. <laughs> Oops, all debunks. Thank you. Anonymous, Charlie M. Thank y'all. Okay. Wait, where's my... Okay, I just had it. Where'd it go? Where... <laughs> no, where'd it go? <laughs> What'd I do with it? <laughs> oh, no. I'm looking, I'm looking for, I took it off, didn't I? Oh no, where is it? Oh, it's on my wrist, thank you, thank you. I always do that and I forget it's there. Okay, thanks. Phew, okay. All right, so we're gonna react to some, some ghost videos. We'll do some chills because, uh, Yeah, 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 I've got the sweatpants on, true. Uh, we'll do some chills because, um, I like, I like, I like Bizarre Bub's vibe and everything, but his videos can be a little long, and chills is kind of like in and out. Plus, plus chills is like kind of funny. <laughs> If, okay, how many of you have never seen a chills video before? Because you're gonna you're gonna need to uh, you're you're gonna need to be prepared. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's the Burger King foot lettuce guy. If that helps at all. Yeah. The voice the voice is gonna be something to get used to for sure. Okay. Let me let me pull it up. Well, you know what? Let me, let me look at Bizarre Bub's channel real quick. Yes, yeah, here's the problem: is that they're they're always really long. Actually, you know what? Okay, these actually these aren't as long as I thought. Some of them are they're like twenty four twenty four minutes. We could do twenty four minutes. Yeah, let's do that. We could do twenty four. Don't watch alone. Okay, this has 4.5 million views. Perfect. This is great. Okay. All right, let's do this. All right. So now, if you've uh, if you've never seen me react to ghost videos before, I know I never believe anything that's happening. So I'm just letting you know if you're expecting me to be like, oh my god, absolute proof of the paranormal, that ain't gonna happen. Uh, so Bizarre Bob is kind of like nukes, um, basically just shows scary clips and has like a voiceover that's just like, who knows what really happened. But, um, yeah, we'll check it out. Let me know if the volume's good. On September 18th of 2023, a couple of friends are meeting up at a friend's house to practice for a dance recital. They'll be performing in a few days, so they want to make sure their bit. dance is perfectly choreographed. Throughout the night, the friends record themselves dancing solo before eventually filming their collective dance. But fast forward to only a couple okay. hours later. Sorry, I got I got to restart because I have was not I was paying attention to the volume level. Okay, let's try again. On September 18th of 2023, okay. a couple of friends are meeting up at a friend's house to practice for a dance recital. They'll be performing in a few days, so they want to make sure their dance is perfectly choreographed. Throughout the night, the friends record themselves dancing solo before eventually filming their collective dance. But fast forward to only a couple hours later, and something very strange happens. According to the group, they were playing a game inside a room when something pretty creepy happened. This is what was caught. Oh, wait, middle, down. Okay, okay. Oh. I'll do the... Yeah. I feel like I'm in a 90s dance. Let's do it. 
You can only move when the lights are off. You can't move when the lights are on. You have five moves to get to me. This is not Chill's chat. No, this is Bizarre Bub. Different person. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> you have five moves to get to me. Something fell right? Yeah, it was sitting right here. It did. And it just fell off? Okay. It fell? No, that's how that is blue off. There's no way it was here. Fell. Do you know how heavy this is? I don't know. Yes, oh, it, wow. was, it was sitting right here. Did you touch that? Know. She didn't touch I, it. I don't know. <laughs> that's. The, I don't know. Maybe it was like. Wait. What? Was no. it already moving? Was that? Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. You guys. What the hell? That was okay. So what? Okay, I, I just want to say real quick, the fact that they're like giggling kind of gives it away, doesn't it? Oh, 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 oh. Can't, can't even keep up the uh, the terrified vibe. If that was really happening, would you really be giggling? I don't know. What's the cat face? Oh my god. As if playing this game wasn't already creepy enough, this happens. Now, right before the video ends, a loud thump is heard on camera. Hearing this sound was enough to silence the girls, as they already knew what it was. It was the same crystal cube that had dropped earlier. This was strange, considering that it was placed securely on the shelf and has never fallen until now. Well, Casey, who was in this video, further adds that it seems to have flown off the shelf, given how far it landed on the floor. It's as though someone or something had flung it. But even stranger are the events that followed afterward. A ceiling lamp begins to move on its own, and a shelf door pops open out of nowhere. Understandably, the girls ran away in sheer panic. Now they have yet to post more videos explaining the events of that night. But until then, it seems that this incident will have no conclusive answer on what exactly was captured in this video. Okay, so here, here are my thoughts. First of all, this is a very convenient game for this. This game where it's half black screen. And the black screen that they use here. You have five moves to get to me. Anytime that they do this, they can hide a cut, you know? So, like, I know that they, you know, I know this is just like a fun little video, so I don't want to, like, pick it apart too bad. But just, you know, if I were to look for how they did it, this is how I would guess. Um, they would just hide a cut with the lights off because like it is pitch black and you know, I don't know if it's actually pitch black in, in the room. You would think you'd be able to still see like a shape or a shadow of something. I don't know, but you know, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it is pitch black. Right. But that's where I would hide it because basically what you could do is you could turn the light off. You could stop recording, you know, you could have, um, get somebody in position with the cube and, and, and then hit start record, you know, turn the light off, record them dropping it, stop record again. And then, you know, cut to them being like, what? It's on the ground. Right. So that's how I would imagine that they would do it. Uh, I will also say that the, the, the thing on top which you don't see here, right? The thing on top that they're like, oh, it's moving. And it just fell off. Notice that the the one with the camera is just below it. Yeah. Right? She's like just below it. So all you'd have to do is, you know, just give it a little, give oh, it a little wrist there. flick. There's and no suddenly, oh, wait. Yes, it, was, it was sitting right here. Did you touch that? Okay, yeah. Well, the second time she goes in, she kind of, she oh. kind of like, Okay. Cause it's not moving right here. But then she moves in. Did you touch that? 
you shouldn't touch it. Because I can, I can, I can imagine, I can imagine them doing like, <laughs> I can imagine them doing something like, like holding the camera and 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 like, oh, you know, moving it like that. I mean, that that would be within their range of motion, I would think. So, uh, that's what I would say there. And then, Maybe it was like, Wait, you know, this cabinet opening. Right, so the direction that it opens, this is the most replayed part of the, I mean, it opens towards the person operating the camera. If it opens towards the other two girls, that'd be, that'd be one thing. But since it opens towards them, there's all sorts of things they can do with like fishing line and stuff. Yeah, she makes sure to get the cabinet and shot. Yeah, so I mean, honestly, it's like it's like a cool clip, except for the part where they're like giggling as they exit the room here. Oh my god! Oh, what the hell? Oh, real? Like if that happened, would you really be giggling? I'm just saying, man. So yeah, fun video, but there's like a there's a bunch of different ways they could have done this. Man, I I feel like I'm being a fun ruiner right now, but you know, I feel like after my Conjuring House video where I uh, where I debunked Cody and Satori, I just I feel like the state the stakes were like so high in that one that these I'm just like eh these you know they're just kids having fun I don't know they had just come back from walking outside. When oh, I'm sorry. No conclusive answer on what exactly was captured in this video. I mean, no conclusive answer, but like, you know. Eh. We're almost in at 48,000, guys. A mother and her two children are standing outside their house after seeing something very alarming. They had just come back from walking outside when something on the second floor window catches their attention. The family couldn't help but record this on the off chance that no one would believe them. Using a flashlight they had brought along to their nightly walk, the family shines the window and sees this. All right, my daughter's room is up there and we keep seeing some, all right, put your flashlight up. Yeah, I'm gonna need the replay, please. What what am I looking at? All right, flash it up there. Oh, now it's gone. Put your flashlight down. Let's see if it'll do it again. All right, put it up, hurry. Oh. It appears that each time the light isn't on the window, the blinds move on their own. But if you look closely, you'll see that no fingers can be seen opening the blinds, let alone a figure behind the shades. Oh. The space appears to be empty, as if no one is there. Now the children are definitely spooked by this incident, but not so much the mother, given her. It took me a second to the video. figure that out. It could like be I... that this odd occurrence has happened before, and thus explaining why she doesn't seem that phased. But whether or not that's so, what happens next further demonstrates this incident as being truly odd. Have a look. Have a look. Alright, let's see <sighs> if it'll do it one more time, baby. Put your flashlight up. Can I just say something? This is I, I feel like I feel like uh, debunking these clips really just comes down to is the person in the clip having a realistic reaction to this or not? And the fact that the mom is like, come on, kids, put your flashlight up there. Check it out. Hey, little girl, isn't that your room up there? Let's see what happens when we put the flashlight on it. I'm just like. I mean, if this were real. Don't you think you'd be a little freaked out? That's your daughter's room, right? And she's just like, come on, kids. <laughs> Let's see the ghost finger again. <laughs> I mean, if, if this were me and I were seeing that, I'd be like, there is a man in there and I'm calling the police. So that's, that's, I feel like that's a, a lot of times with these like quick clips, the mo that is, I feel like the most solid evidence is just like looking at how they're reacting. All right, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. What? Oh. I, again, like if if it if it seems like somebody is in your daughter's room, 
Why would you not call the cops? <laughs> you know? Like, if, the, if this is legitimately happening and it's not just, like, her friend that's up there, you know, moving the thing on the side, right? But, like, this just is, doesn't make any sense to me. All right. Here's the upstairs. I just want to show you guys. No one behind the door. Well, I mean, There's we got, like... Room. It's a little messy. I'm sorry. But just to show you, here's the closet. I just want to show you there's nobody... Can, can I just say, this is a you, lady, you're doing a horrible job at, at, at reassuring us because we're only getting like a vertical shot and you're like panning around like crazy. We can't even see anything. She's just like, as you can see, there's nobody there. Okay. Don't even need, don't even need to ask twice. Okay. There's nobody there. As you can see, it's like, we're seeing like, we're seeing like a five inch slice at a, at a time. I can't tell that there's nobody there. Behind. Nobody in the closet. She's like spinning. Look how fast right she's like here. spinning around. We can't see anything. Nobody. Not a single person up here. A mother checks the room and shows that. No try, try not to sound too pleased with yourself over your successful creepy ghost video. No one's there. Even before entering the space, she appears to be certain that no one is up there as if she's already experienced this before. It goes without saying, but viewers find this to be pretty strange. If no one had been inside the room, then how were the blinds opening up? And why is it that each time the window is shined, they immediately close back up? Because somebody's in there. I, I, me, me, me. I can help explain. I can help explain. It's because somebody's in there. <laughs> I know the answer. With no further context or updates on this odd occurrence, it seems that we may never know what exactly was going on in this video. But as always, you be the judge on what was captured in this footage. Okay, well, if I'm bestowed the honor of being the judge, I'm going to say there was somebody in there. Just the, the way that the mom is reacting is just too suspicious to me. I, I don't buy it. In the following video, a mother is recording her daughter because of something very concerning that she just said. Can I just say also the ones with kids in them? I'm just like, can we not? <laughs> can we not? Can we not involve the kids in, in the ghost stuff, please? According to the daughter, someone or something is in the closet moving inside. She was able to capture a glimpse of this movement from the gap beneath the closet door, but couldn't make out who or what was in there. This was extremely concerning to the mother, as for a while, they've been dealing with strange occurrences at home. They believe that a squatter is hiding in their house. Now, they had thought this for the longest time, what? until something pretty creepy happened recently. Although Cheryl, the mother, doesn't exactly say what happened, she now knows that something else is going on in the house. One day, Cheryl is sewing in her room, when her daughter, who's playing with her toys right behind her, tells her that something had moved in the closet. She immediately grabs her phone and begins to record. Hey guys, um, just wanted to jump on really quick because I had to stop sewing. My daughter just said, "Yeah, I don't, I don't care that you had to stop sewing. Why, why are you not calling 911? If there's a squatter in your daughter's closet, why are you not calling the authorities right now? You're gonna record it. Hey guys, I had to stop sewing to record this, but." She says she heard something. Come on, man. That something weird really happened and we've been experiencing a lot of strange things lately. Why don't you buy a rocket launcher? <laughs> oh, don't mind my mannequins. I sew for a living, so. Yeah, we, we've, we've gathered you that you sew. Thank you. What you just said. I think there's someone in the back door. Okay. I, I I do I feel really sorry for this kid, um, because clearly the mom's making her do this. Under the closet door. This one annoys me. You know what? We're gonna skip this one because it annoys me so bad. We're gonna skip. We're gonna skip this one because it annoys me so bad. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's, let's skip. Go to the next one. Okay. And I'm sorry, but that one's just that one's just like icky and weird. I don't like it. 
At approximately 1 in the morning, a truck driver was driving down a road that not many drivers take for a certain reason. It is said that driving See, down this, this road fine. is dangerous, Let's go. as many accidents have occurred here before, and tragically, some of those accidents were fatal. Because of this, some believe that the road is cursed and should therefore be closed down permanently. See a cursed road? This but is, most I can drivers, work with this. like the one in this video, can find an alternate route to their destination. They have no choice but to take this one. On August 18 of 2023, Gaston Rodriguez and his co-driver were taking this route when something pretty creepy happened. The two drivers are listening to some cheerful music to make their commute less frightening <laughs> when out of nowhere I can see capture that. this. Is it a couch? Does somebody throw a couch out? Suddenly there's a couch on the road? Where do we get that from? Where are we getting that from? I always say that. Whenever there's like a clip of like a rural road or something, I'm like, oh, I hope there's not a couch out there. Where where does that come from? Because I don't know of any like actual like story, like verified story that that comes from. Is it like an urban legend or something? Because I don't know if I've ever been told a story about that. I just like have always had it in my head of like they they like these like unknown people like throw a couch out there to make you stop your car and get out and then they get you. You know, is that a real thing? I feel like it is. By the way, forty eight thousand dollars. I. I just noticed. Thank you so much, everybody. Forty-eight thousand. You didn't even need. You didn't even need a micro goal for that one. We're so close to fifty thousand. I'll check the. Uh, I'll check the um, donos. Actually, let me see real quick. What we got here? Uh, wait. What? Wait. Hang on a second. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Marnie, thank you for the one hundred dollars. Jennery, thank you for the one hundred dollars. Appreciate that. Grendel, thank you for the fifty. Um, Bricks and Rot, thank you for the $50. Anonymous, thank you for the $150. Thank you, thank you. Sale, thank you for the five. Panda, thanks for the 10. Buggy, thanks for the 35. Anonymous, thank you for the two. Uh, that puts us at just under $2,000 from our stretch goal of 50,000, which I'm really excited about. So thank you all for continuing to give some donations here and let's check it out. Down the road, there appears to be a moving figure darting across the dirt path before suddenly disappearing from sight. It seems that neither driver had noticed the mysterious figure during this recording, but it was after watching this clip that they were left totally spooked. Who, or whatever this is, just seems to come out of nowhere and then vanish before crossing over to the road. Knowing the history of this route and the fatal accidents that have happened here, some believe that this might have been the spirit of a deceased victim who is still roaming about. But whether ghost or not, the footage alone is pretty strange. Just how exactly um, did this mysterious figure disappear from sight? Like most videos, there has yet to be a definitive answer as to what was captured in this footage. Okay, well, let's think about a couple of things. So first of all, they're randomly just recording themselves driving on a rural road. It's already a little bit like, eh, why are you doing that? You know? Um, but you know, again, you know, you might say, well, if they hadn't been recording, then we wouldn't have a video. And we're into this like annoying chicken and the egg situation where it's like, fine, fine, fine. But still, um, this, I'm just saying that this isn't really like a natural environment to be recording a video, you know, which I think is fair. Um, with that said, they are driving for like quite a long time before the mysterious figure shows up. They capture this. Actually, wait, I see it up there. Or I thought I did. Maybe not. Yeah, that, that's like... Down the road, there appears to be a moving figure darting cheerful music to make the... 
See, like you can see, you can see whatever it is like over here, can't you? Isn't that? What is that? Isn't that the thing that they show the later? Happened. The two drivers are listening to some cheerful music to make their commute less frightening. When out of nowhere, they capture this. Cause I, I want to see it here. That guy's, that guy's dance is lacking. Yeah, you can see it like right here. Okay, so whatever it is, it's gotta be fast. Then if we're seeing it here, we're seeing it right, like right here, right? And then they turn, turn back, and then they turn and it's still there. I'm gonna go with, that's an animal. That's not a person. Cause my first thought was like, well, it's like their friend or something. But I think that's probably, you know, like a deer or something, or like, I'm trying to think of something else that could be like that. Let's see. Does space not play anymore? I keep pressing space to play and pause and it's like not happening. I mean, like, <laughs> can't see anything, <laughs> right? Can't see anything at all. But I'd say that's like, assuming it's not like a, like, you know, special effects or something. It's an animal. That's like a deer. Would you like tacos? I would like tacos. If that's you. Oh. This thing said I'm trailer park. Um, could you get me trailer park with Poblano? I already has that. And um, Crossroads with Chipotle Ranch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Are you getting chips? Yeah. Okay, okay. I was just checking. I'm back at it. Sorry. So you guys having trouble falling asleep again? Okay. We're getting we're getting tacos, baby. I just babied, road, so you know it's serious. There appears to be a moving figure darting across the dirt path before suddenly disappearing. I'm just thinking about something that like I mean they're not moving like they're not driving super fast, but they're driving fast enough that it would make sense that that's an animal. It seems that neither driver had noticed the mysterious figure during this recording. I, I think that's but a deer or it was something. After watching this clip, that they were left totally spooked. Because it's got Spook, like or whatever it, this is. It looks like it's got like kind of a gray coloration, like a deer. It just seems to come out of nowhere, you know, and then vanish so. before crossing over to the road. Knowing if it's the history of this route and the fatal if it's like done in post, here, like if it's like CGI or, or something, of a or, or, or a special effects. About. I don't but know whether ghost or not. The footage alone is pretty strange. Just how exactly that it could be did that this mysterious figure disappear because from sight? I'm just trying to think of like a real world explanation because I feel like going straight to like it, they put it in post is kind of like no fun, you know. So I'm trying to think of like if it was real, what could it be? Seems that neither driver had noticed the mystery. I will say it is. It does kind of seem like it might be CGI because of how quickly it disappears. Sight. It seems it disappears like extremely quickly, neither. like su like suddenly. They're Cause like there it is, there it is, there it is, and then there, and then it's gone, right? But I I think there's like a bush over here that maybe it disappeared behind, but it still disappears quickly enough to where it could be CGI. Recording. Anyway, but it was after watching this clip that they were left totally spooked. Who or whatever this is just seems to come out of nowhere and then vanish before crossing over to the road. Knowing the history of this route and the fatal accidents that have happened here. Some yeah, it like fades out in like one frame. A deceased victim who is still roaming about. But whether ghost or not, the footage alone is pretty strange. Just how exactly did this mysterious figure disappear See, like, from sight? Like, like even just the videos, eyeball test, watching it disappear. There has definitive answer as to what was captured in this footage. In this next video, a man named Bobby is watching a scary movie when a sudden noise is heard. W R L D paranormal. Okay. Well, first, first of all, can I, can I just say, if you've got dolls like this in your house, is, is it any surprise if you're haunted? It's heard from inside his home. As it turns out, the noise had come. From These the people always got like mannequins Bobby, or dolls or something. Spooked, he continues to record the case as he has a hunch that something is about to happen. 
This cabinet, as Bobby states, is haunted. Nice gamer now, this chair. This wouldn't be the first time that something like this has occurred. In previous videos, which I featured before, Bobby has documented things that he considers to be paranormal in nature, from his daughter's toys turning Can on we... by themselves. I'm I'm so sorry, but to... that he considers. What what is this? Is to be paranormal. You, you, first of all, you not only have all these creepy looking dolls, but you have them all facing towards you. And then you're like, I think one of these might be paranormal. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, what are you doing with all this stuff, man? Well, in nature, from his daughter's toys turning on by themselves to bedroom doors seemingly opening I want on to clean own. this house. Something about this place just doesn't seem right. Nah, get out of here, man. Nah, <laughs> nah, get out of here, man. What a realistic reaction to have to someone possibly being inside your home. And yeah, I also want to point this out. Yeah, are you, are you, is my man backing out of the room right now? See, I'm just saying, man, that, that, you don't even really need to debunk anything. You just look at, like, the person in the video's reaction, and you're like, would someone really react this way? So you're going to be so scared of the ghost that you're going to leave your kid in there alone? No. That's got to be, nah, and, and what's with all the dolls? Here, man. It appears that something highly unusual is taking place in Bobby's apartment. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can think of a couple highly unusual things, actually. But not the one you're thinking of, bub. But just when things seem to be settling down, the following takes place. While being home alone and watching a scary movie, this happens. As soon as I started hitting record, it stopped. And our neighbors and all that move, so I know it's not them. What? what? And I hear footsteps again. I don't hear anything, dude. The power of suggestion. <laughs> Bub, did you add this music? Please leave me alone. Did you add this music, dude? Yo. <laughs> dude, try not to sound so excited, dude. <laughs> whoa, whoa, dude. The ghost spun a chair yeah. around. Why are you sounding so surprised? <laughs> Little bro was yapping. <laughs> we got us. We ain't got all day. Yo. D okay, I'm. S I can't. I can't deal with this guy. I can't deal with this guy. That thing just slid out too. Did it? Slid out. Yeah. Yeah. I think nothing happened. What are you talking about? That thing just slid out too. What did? Nothing happened. You 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 caught it on camera and nothing happened. Yo, I am about, I'm about to skip this guy's video. That's not 6x speed. <laughs> Yo. 
Can I just say, as someone who has edited video for a long time, this is not 6x speed. That's, look, look at the difference in between the footage before and after it says that. I'm guessing the subtitles are his. <laughs> Yo. Scintillating commentary. I'm about to turn to the Joker. This is what's going to do it. This is what's going to make me crack. You do it again? Do what again? Nothing? Sure, they can do nothing again. <laughs> Yo, I'm good on that, man. Clearly not. Thing just tried to pull open again. Did it move? This guy, this guy is just walking around filming random objects, staying still. That thing just fell. I'm good on. Okay, it did. It did scooch like a teeny bit. Which, like, there's a million different ways you can do that. He's the guy's not standing still, so it, he could have. You know, fishing line attached to his foot and just move his foot a little bit whenever he needs to. It, it like barely moved. <laughs> Yo, I'm good on that, man. That thing just tried to pull open again. What did? While doing his best to remain calm, Bobby <laughs> captures footage of the cabinet doing something That's on a good its one. own. The doors on the cabinet begin to rattle, as if someone was trying to pry them open, and shortly after, the sound of the latch being released from the cabinet door is heard. To Bobby, it seems that something supernatural is happening with the cabinet, or at least the space it's in, as other nearby objects started moving on their own. To this day, Bobby continues to experience strange happenings at home, and just like previous occurrences, this one has left him beyond spook. while repeatedly reacting to things saying, yo, Bobby caught this paranormal activity on camera. Okay. Yeah, again, it's like looking at just how the person's reacting. It's just like, really? You're gonna, you're, this? This is real? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I believe anything that that guy says. It sounds like he may not be in... The best state of mind. Just saying. Uh, may not have all of his faculties. Can you imagine if, like, Drew Barrymore in Scream saw a ghost face in her home and she was just like, yo. Yo, I'm good on that. I'm good on that. She's getting stabbed to death. I'm good on that. Yo, leave me alone, bro. Don't stab in the city me, bro. Of Krugerstorp, South Africa, a mysterious video was filmed by a real estate agent who was touring a property for sale. It isn't known if the house in this video has been sold yet, but considering what happens in this clip, it may just be that no one will be buying this house anytime soon. Apparently, something very freaky was caught on camera. Take a look. Apparently? Okay. Why are you recording right now? Fascinating footage of the brick walkway. Yeah, man, I can see why you were recording. <laughs> I want to share this footage with all my friends and family. Ooh, that was cool, actually. Hang on, hang on. Okay, fake or not, I actually kind of like that.
Uh, did my man not see what happened? After watching the video, the real estate agent was shocked to see that someone was in the house. Uh, they don't okay. recall ever seeing right, anyone else well. inside, but apparently, based on the footage, someone was there. Or, so it seems. Looking at the video again, it appears that whoever this was just suddenly disappears. Well, okay, first of all... Looking at the video again, it appears that whoever this was... So, I mean, it's, it's, it's fake, right? But... The reason that you know it's fake is because they didn't investigate it. You're telling, you're telling me you didn't see that? That was like so obvious. Also, the way that this is shot, it's obscuring where the person comes from, from the right, and then they go into it looks like a cabinet. And the reason the person didn't investigate is because you just walk over there, you open the cabinet, and they would be in there. You know what I mean? Like, And so they were just like, I didn't see anything, because that's the only way that you can really get away with it. It's a cool shot, but again... The way that the person reacts in the clip just suddenly disappears. As quickly as they appear, they vanish without a sign. Because like Although the way that the the way that the per the person like waits until the person with the camera is showing it for them to walk past, and they walk past slowly enough to where you'll be able to see them. They like walk into view and stuff. I don't know. The cameraman didn't violently spin his phone around like in so many of these. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing he wasn't like, whoa, 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 as you can see, there's nobody here. Like, they they love doing that. <laughs> Knowing what the agent thinks, viewers believe that something paranormal was caught on camera. But of course, I'll leave it to you to decide if that's so. Just who or what was inside this house. It was their friend. <laughs> Case closed. We did it. We solved it. We solved it. Is it time to bring the wig back? The wig has been in time out. This whole time. We need to bring the wig back. Otherwise, how will people know who I am? Oh no. Some of the uh some of the headphone <laughs> some of my headphones came off in the wig. <laughs> wig back at 49k? True. What am I doing? I'm not monetizing it. Yeah, you know what? You guys want the wig back? You're gonna have to earn it. 49k. That's right. That's another five hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Yeah, go back in time out. There you go. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you guys want the wig back? Well, that's gonna cost ya. Nice catch, Ashley. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I need to be better about this. Let's read some donations. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see. Anonymous, thank you for the 20 bucks. Dizzy Dolphin, Riss, Dr. Wait, Dr. Radical Kick Flippins, uh, Stray Catalyst, uh, Lassie Classy, Yuichi, thank you all for the donations. And Anonymous got a couple in there as well. So thank y'all. Right, right now we're at $48,493. Again, we're trying to get to 50K. Let's see if we, you know what? Let's see if we get to 50k before the end of this bizarre bub video. What's the frame rate like on the camera right now? Like 12? Let's see. You know what? It's like that because I have two cameras going. Is it even worth it? Is it even worth it? I don't know. Somehow I don't think so. Oh well. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, let's go back to. Uh... <laughs> Let's go back to, to streaming uh, funny ghost video. Okay. Yeah, that that is, you know what? That is a cool clip, though. I will say. I wish... I wish they had gone to investigate, because it would have been cool if they went to the cabinet and then they opened it and there was nobody there. I would have liked that. And they, I can think of a way they could have done it, too. What they could have done is they could have had their friend go into the cabinet, and they could have been like... Oh, and like fixated on it and then froze and then their friend could have come out of the cabinet gotten out of frame and then they could have gone kept filming and go into the cabinet and they could have just put a cut there and if they did it right it would look seamless it would look like they went over there and nobody was inside that's how i would do it but 
yeah i mean you know not not everybody's a a content creator so if you caught something creepy on camera or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com that being one said the, let's get back to the video one, one of the best ways that you can make ghost videos like these is like you notice in a lot of the clips they're like spinning around and stuff that's how that's how they typically hide cuts they they spin around and they try like we've we've caught it so many times where we slow the spin down and it's clearly like off and that's where they hide it but if you just if you just like freeze then you can hide cuts that way too but like if you have like a i don't know like a gimbal or something or let's say you could you could do it with a tripod too uh you could freeze that way you could strategically like you could carry a tripod around and then just put it down and make it look like you're still holding it. There are ways you can do it. Um, but yeah, instead, we're just going to spin around a lot. On John March 20th, his own ghost video, a very peculiar video was uploaded by a grandmother who was looking. Yeah, it would be, you know, it would be fun to make my own ghost videos. I could I could do that. I could do that. Yeah, that'd be fun. It would take some time. I'd have to figure out some ways to do it. I would want to do it completely practical effects, too. Um, I don't know how much we'd want to show of, like, our house in the video. So we might have to find, like, a neutral filming location or something, which might take some time. But, um, yeah, that'd be kind of a fun idea, for sure. Wouldn't want to half-ass it. Rent an Airbnb? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good call, for sure. Over at the footage captured by her doorbell camera. The recording was taken late at night when no one at home had been awake. So according to the grandma, whatever was caught on camera couldn't have been her nor her spouse who resides with her. Now the house they I, live in isn't thought to be haunted. I'm sorry. I just have to I just have to point out. I just have to point out that a lot of times they set these videos up like now you might think it's my husband, but he wasn't even home. Trust me, bro. And it's like, okay, so it was your husband, right? <laughs> like, no, 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 it couldn't have been because he wasn't at home. Haunted, as nothing strange or unexplainable has occurred there before. If anything unusual was happening, they would forbid their grandchildren from coming over. But despite having doubts that strange things would ever happen, they captured this. Now, it's I know what you're thinking. In the morning, when it the was my friend. But well, my friend was creepy. at work at the time. Take a look. So it couldn't have been him. What's with the question mark? Yeah, somebody walked out of frame. It's nighttime. Of course it is. It appears that a small white figure dashes out the front door before disappearing into the dark. But then, moments later, I mean, something else appears on camera. An odd-looking silhouette can be seen just a few feet away, moving in a strange manner, as if it was floating above ground. Naturally, its uncanny no. movement no. has left the grandparents beyond spooked. No, it's somebody in a dress, and they're holding the dress up. That's what's happening. I don't know, was it homecoming around this time, or what? It's it's just a woman holding her dress up. That's all that's happening. No, floating? You guys... You guys jumped to these conclusions, like, so quickly. They were clearly levitating off the ground. What? But they were more concerned about seeing their front door open as if someone or something was in their place. Although they can't seem to explain the events of that night, they've taken safety measures to ensure no one or nothing breaks into their house. I mean, this is this is kind of annoying because it's like... It's, they've taken safety measures to ensure... And it's like, well, what is that? I don't know. How, how tall is that? Hang on, let me see for... for... Because they showed somebody walking out of the... By her doorbell camera. The recording was taken late at night when no one at home had been awake. So according to the grandma, whatever was caught on camera couldn't have been her nor her spouse who resides with her. Trust me, now bro. the house they live in isn't thought to be haunted as nothing strange or unexplainable has occurred there before. If anything unusual was happening, they would Look forbid their grandchildren from... Hmm. Ah, uh -huh. 
the smoking gun. So you have grandchildren, huh? Now, would you describe these grandchildren as short, perhaps? Uh, are they able to walk? Kind of seems like it. Seems like these grandchildren are short and able to walk. Now, what could those skills be used in combination Coming with? Over. But despite having doubts that strange things would ever happen, they to form this, this next video, huh? It's around 3.20 in the morning when their doorbell camera records something pretty creepy. Take a look. You know what's annoying, too? You know what's annoying about this video, too? Is that, notice where it starts. It, it's, like, why, why does it start right? I guess, I guess it starts with motion, right? Because it's a ring camera? Oh, that's convenient. Yeah. Okay. Well, but yeah, but still. So like, so like, so you're staying behind the door and you're like, just go around the corner. You want to, you want to, you want to film a funny video? So that's what that was. And then this is just, so they're just trying to make a, a spooky, spooky video. Cause this is clearly just a woman holding up her dress. And the reason why there's such awkward timing is because they just they just started walking and they didn't know when they would be in view of the ring camera. So, okay. Measures to ensure no one or nothing breaks into their. I'm I'm satisfied with that house. Yet still, the question remains: Who or what had been inside their home, and just what in the world was this? What in the world was it? It's it's a person, dude. Like. I don't know. They always try to big it up like it's some big mystery. <laughs> By the way, 261 bucks away from the wig going back on, from the wig coming out of timeout. That's right, $261. Can we can we hit it before the end of the Bizarre Bub video? That's the big question. In this last video, two friends are playing with a doll that according to them does something pretty strange. The video starts off with both friends playing with a doll, hoping it would do the thing that it usually does. What's with However, the dolls, man? while recording the figurine, they notice that its eyes are a different color. For some reason, its blue eyes, initially seen at the start of the clip, are now completely black. They continue to record the doll when this is captured. Her eyes are black on here. Why are she they turned this way? Why I've seen that. Look at this. <laughs> I'm She's sorry. I, oh my gosh. I have to... They're black. Her eyes are like real light blue. And she completely stopped moving just a second. See? She did it again. <laughs> hey, Marissa. Can I, can I, what, what camera is being used to film right now? What modern camera are they using that it, it looks like this? And, and it's like, it's not like the normal excuse that you would have of like, wow, it's really dark outside, you know? Like, there's, there's, that's why there's so much artifacting. It's really dark. Well, they're inside. It's well lit. It's a subject that's not moving. It's directly in front of them. So, how, like, what's the excuse for the video quality being so bad? The ring camera quality was better quality than this. Just look. That fan is still blowing and she's stopping. See? Uh, See? Yeah. Mm, so creepy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the dogs are creepy. She won't stand anywhere else on the table. No, I've tried it in three or four places. Oh, our tacos are here. Oh, I did what not the do hell? I did not do that. <laughs> okay. Sure, Jan. All right. Uh, oh, I did not. <laughs> Oh, I did not. I did not do that. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Somehow, the doll turns it? by itself after being moved around. According to them, it seemingly doesn't like being placed in a certain spot. It's for this reason that it turns away on its own. Now, the friends have tried explaining this, but it seems that nothing plausible comes to mind. They have no clue as to how the doll moved on its own. 
Unfortunately, with no further info on this video, it's- I'm sorry, I, I love the fact that they're like, normally the doll has blue eyes, but now they're black. And this is the example that we get. I'm like, I, I can't see what's going on here. I, what are you t like, yeah, they look blue here, but like the video quality is like insanely bad. I can't even, are those eyes? It seems that this incident will remain a mystery. But aside oh. from this encounter, there's no denying that the doll's appearance is pretty creepy. Yeah, it's, it's an unsolvable, unsolvable situation. Paranormal or not, this doll has to be the stuff of nightmares. It has to Thanks be, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you... Yeah, it has to be the stuff of nightmares. That's it. Um, okay. So, like... I was I kept waiting for like something else to happen. Oh my god, the tacos are here. I can stop stalling now. <gasps> tacos! Don't we just join you for the last bit so we can eat tacos? Is uh is CK? Uh -huh. She's down? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Great job. Yeah. Great job here. She did the thing where she was like No, you guys can't see it. Yeah, the light's too bright. She's down. Oh, Great job. Hi. Thank you. No, she, she, I did what we talked about where I just kept like comforting her and being Comfort there. She did the, I was, the gentle sleep training. I was uh, singing the Stardew Valley uh, music to her because it was playing on my phone and she seemed to really like that. But then she did the thing where she was like, eh, eh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does that. Oh my gosh. Hey, let's close the, let's close the door. Okay. Yeah. She'll just fuss really hard and then just pass out. It's really weird. Yeah, she's, oh my gosh. She's a crazy girl. Oh, we're over 49,000. Are we really? Where is it? Okay, okay. <laughs> you guys want. Where is your screen? What do you mean? I don't see it. You don't see it. I feel like Rachel. It's on I the, don't it's, see it. Oh, it's, on, it's on, the, the, on the recording. Okay. Yeah, here, I was wait. like looking up here. <laughs> yeah. I don't see, yeah, see it. No, it's beautiful. Oh, Yay. No, Good job, you guys. Okay, you guys. We're, we're taking the wig out of timeout. I almost put it on without the wig cap. Ooh. Would you mind holding that? It'll be my honor. Okay. How are y'all doing? It's so good to see you guys. Hi. Okay. I got that doll. What were they saying it was doing? It, like, it moved. <laughs> I did not do that. It I moved. don't know it you. Moved. The doll moved on its own. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to, I was having to hold back. Okay, let's did see. a good job. I'll move the wig cap back this time. I'll move it back. That's a good tip. That's a good tip. I'm not an expert on wigs, okay? You're doing okay. There we go. <laughs> Wait, did I do? Oh no, I did it the wrong way. Did I do it? <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, that works. That's that's good enough. Oh my gosh, you guys! Just a little over five hundred dollars to fifty thousand dollars, which is really fifty-five. Just think about that. It's really $55,000. Why is it really $55,000? Because we have an anonymous donor matching That's dollar for dollar from 45000 to 50000 So, yeah. Woo! Woohoo! So, yeah, uh, for anyone uh, just coming in, I'm, I'm cosplaying as uh, Heather Mason from Silent Hill 3. I'm going to switch to that camera. No, I'm not. <laughs> I, I was just letting you, I was letting you know. <laughs> I was letting you know, so you, you wouldn't, <laughs> it wouldn't take you by surprise. Thank you. Okay, so you can see, you can see the full, the full uh, shot right here. Now we will be taking photos for Instagram later. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, this was like the best I could do to show the full thing now, but we'll be taking photos. And uh, now that CK is asleep, that should be that should go much more smoothly. So perfect. Get your food. Okay. Eat the food. 
Tina, eat the food. Here's your trailer park. Here, right. <laughs> oh, my trailer park. Thank you. All less than 400 bucks. I'm assuming this is your other one. Oh, there we go. Um, yes. <laughs> Cosplay as Barbie next time. There you go. I think I might have to... You still need to see that. Yeah, I think I might have to lose about 30 pounds for that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for Barbie? Yeah. Uh. I'm middle-aged Barbie. 50,000! Woo! Shh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's still asleep. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Great. Yeah. Great job, everyone. I'm going to have did it. I'm going to have part of a taco to celebrate. <laughs> awesome, guys. Woo. We did it. Fifty thousand dollars. You did it, and you did it, and you did it. And I'm. I should probably just point at the camera over and over. Mm -hmm. Nobody's over there. Wait, if nobody's over there, then what was that old woman in a white sheet that I just saw? That was the. I wanted to. Be oh you! Oh you! Oh you were! You were pretending to be a ghost. <laughs> I didn't know the angle. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you guys saw something behind me just now? Yeah. It's behind me, isn't it? <laughs> you know what? Actually, I want I want chips. I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I just I want chips. I'm gonna just take this real quick just to show them. I want you guys to know something. Okay, we have a place here called Torchy's Tacos. It's all over Texas. All over DFW and Austin and stuff. And I just, you know what? Not sponsored. I just want to spread the word. Okay. The holy gospel that is the torch. That, okay. We have 55,000. That was the matching. That was the match that went through. Oh my God. Awesome. Let me see. This is so cool. Thank you, Nahid, for 365,000. Uh, 365,000. I had five thousand on the on the brain, three hundred sixty-five dollars. <laughs> thank you, anonymous, and Jim P and Kyle. Good to see you, Kyle. Thank you for the hundred dollars, oh, Kyle. Kyle. Kyle Jam, everybody. Uh, Dust rays. Thank you for the one hundred and fifty. Thank you, Bear Kidney. Thank you, everybody. Cheers, Kristen, for the hundred dollars. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, three hundred sixty-five thousand. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, holy crap! Dollar, but, well. Yeah, is Markiplier in chat? Right. Um, yeah, thank y'all so much. This was uh, this was the most we've ever raised, um, and uh, yeah, y'all did it in under eight hours. So eight divided by fifty-five. That's like seven thousand an hour, almost, mm -hmm. almost seven thousand an hour. Anyway, streaming on both Twitch and YouTube. Streaming on both Twitch and YouTube. You know what? I, I mean, I, I meant it earlier when I was talking about this. Here, you know, let's 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 get some music in the background. <laughs> so I'm not just like talking over nothing. You know what? I meant it earlier when I was like, I am so proud of you guys for coming together, setting your bitter rivalry aside, Twitch and YouTube, and working together for the common good. It really just. It's really inspiring. Fills the heart with, with joy to see that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so real quick, if you ever find yourself in Texas or Colorado, there's a lot of torchies in Colorado as well. We went. We went to torchies when we went to Colorado. We were just like, uh, they have torchies here. We're going. We took our friends Dom and Hayden there. They had never been. We were like, you've never been to torchies. There's one like right next to you. Uh, if you ever go there. You gotta get the chips and salsa, okay? But you get the chips with a little something called Poblano Ranch, okay? And when I say this sauce is fire, I mean, nothing does it justice. Bro, 
And you can get any taco with poblano sauce too. And like put the sauce on the taco or dip the taco in the sauce and it will work. Literally, I am double dipping. We're married, okay? Yeah. So yeah, you gotta get it. If you ever go to Torchies, you gotta get it, okay? Also, if I could recommend some tacos from there, the trailer park is a favorite. It's a fried chicken taco, but it's actually, you know, you might think like, wow, oh, fried chicken, woof. But it's actually, I think it's only like 300 calories and change. Yeah, it's not bad. So it's not bad. And I believe that's including sauce if you get it with uh, poblano sauce, which I would recommend. Yeah, they also get trashy. They've also, yeah, they've also got the trashy trailer park, which has queso in it, which is fine, but I prefer it with vegetables. So I like to get it just regular. And then they've got, they've got beef brisket. They've got beef brisket like uh, Crossroads is beef brisket with uh, with avocado and stuff. And I like to get that with the Chipotle ranch. No! I got poblano sauce on my cosplay! No. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I can see it. I must bleach the vest. Okay. As amazing as it has been to spend all this time with you, we, we our time together is going to draw to a close. Thank you so much, uh, Retro Noir Spider, for another hundred dollars. I believe that's the third one you've donated. So thank you so much, Jeff of all trades. Thanks for one hundred. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you, Lucifer. Thank you, Anonymous. Once again, thank you everybody for getting us to a total so far of fifty-five thousand three hundred and sixty dollars. Woo! Woo! She's still asleep. Wow. <laughs> um but yeah, thank you everybody for 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 dropping by. Um just to do a quick recap on milestones and stuff. You guys voted for a future stream to be um three random horror games, so or just random horror games. So, I'll be doing a stream at some point on both Twitch and YouTube of random horror games, okay? So, uh I don't know exactly when that'll be, um but that'll be happening Pretty soon. That'll probably be the next one that I do. Uh, so we did that when we hit 20,000. Um, and at 40,000, y'all decided that I was going to play Baldur's Gate 3, the full game. And uh, that will that playthrough will start being posted January 1st on my second channel, John to Wolf. Uh, as well as, at some point in the beginning of next year, I'm going to try to fit in... Um, Detroit Become Human. I will play that at some point next year, but I'm going to try to fit in early in the year because I felt bad that the Baldur's Gate fans just kind of steamrolled you guys and a lot of you guys really want to see Detroit. I've never played Detroit, so I'll play Detroit for you guys too on the second channel. And this is all going to be on my second YouTube channel. Um, there'll be daily videos like I've been doing over there. If you haven't been checking it out, I've been posting daily uncut let's play videos over there uh played through the entirety of Alan Wake 2 Resident Evil 4 separate ways DLC um all the Insomniac Spider-Man videos we're playing through White Day 2 right now so uh there's been there's been daily videos over there and that's going to continue with those uh those uh rewards that you guys unlocked so um thanks everybody uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that we've that I've said that I would do um, I think we're still waiting on, on Jeff to, to shave his beard. Um, his pink beard, which, by the way, if you missed it, let me pull it up real quick. We did, we did this a little earlier. This is the CFO of the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. He dyed his hair pink at our request. Um, we voted on what color he had to dye his beard, and he not only dyed it, but he braided it. So he's now he now he has to shave it off because he said as a stretch goal for forty five thousand. Um, 
Oh, he's going on a road trip so his son can see the pink. Okay, yeah, no, no, no rush. No rush on the shaving. No rush on it. We can see it at some point. I'll, whenever it comes out, I'll, I'll, whenever we get some evidence of it, I'll, I'll tweet it out so you guys can see it. Awesome. But yeah, that's, uh, that was, uh, what we had going on tonight. Uh, thank you everybody for, for coming down. 54, wait, are we, are we really? What? Oh no. Okay, so if, if we get, if we get $50, but only one person can do it, we need one representative to do it. Okay, we gotta be very careful how we do this. We're at $55,505.55. Who is going to do the $50? We can't have anyone else do it. This is so important, you guys. Nobody can mess this up. We messed up with the 44444. We can't, we can't let the 55555 pass us by. Okay, who's gonna do it? I'm watching. Okay, when someone, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, no, 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 no. We got to. Oh, now, now it's gotta be. Now it's gotta be forty-five. Okay, it's sorry. We gotta do forty-five now, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we need one person to do forty-five, and we can't have any donations from anyone else. No worries, Weenie Hut. You were just donating to charity. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Your mom Great job. For you to do it. My my mother says I should do it. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> I didn't know my mom was watching. Okay, okay. Actually, I'll do it. You know what? That's a great idea. Well, let's let's uh, let's honor Mama Wolf. I'll do it. No one, no one move. <laughs> no one. 45. Okay. You gotta move faster than me. I know. Okay, okay. Complete donation. Did we do it? <gasps> we did it! We did it! Screenshot! We did it! A screenshot! <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Windows key, shift, S. Uh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Did I wake her up? No. No, I woke her up, I think. Oh no no she she might be okay. Yes, we did it! Five 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 five. <laughs> five 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 five. <laughs> we did it. Okay, now we have to end the stream before somebody messes it up. Oh no. Oh no, she's awake. Oh poor girl. Oh, okay. All right. Good job. Way to go, everybody. Woo! If you keep doing the gentle sleep, I bet I bet she'll take to it. Yeah. Yeah, if it worked before. That's awesome. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you, everybody, for, for coming by. This has been so much fun. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Uh, right now we have, oh, it won't tell me. I was going to say we have so many people watching. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a total of about 3000 people watching on both platforms. So you all came together and did this and that's so cool. Um, for those of you on YouTube right now, uh, what we normally do after this is we normally raid somebody. Um, on Twitch, which means that we send everybody currently in the stream to the uh, streamer that we raid. So, you know, if you'd like to, you could stick around for that. Um, but other than, you know, I will be able to send the people on YouTube there. So let's look for somebody to raid. Normally, well, after a charity stream, we try to find someone else who's doing a charity stream. So usually I'll go on to uh, Tiltify's website because they have people doing stuff on here. Let's see. Let's see, hang on one second. I was hearing myself in the background. It was driving me nuts. Let's see. Um, who's live right now? Uh, do you, okay, first of all, actually, I'll ask you guys if you know anybody who's doing a charity stream right now. Anybody? Because I'll take, I'll take, or any, any recommendations that you have. No, somebody donated $10, no! <laughs> Well, you know what? 
We had it. We had it. I'm gonna I'm gonna save the screenshot while I can actually. There we go. Okay, I saved it. I'll I'll post that one. <laughs> Time to make it six 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 six. But I'm tired. I want to eat tacos. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, let me look around on Twitch. See if I can find anything. Um, let me look on my following list. Uh, let's see. If we we don't have to donate, and uh, we don't have to raid somebody who's charity streaming, it's just like if we so happen to know somebody or see somebody who's live. Um, but I'm not really seeing, I mean, there are some people that I see on Tiltify's website, but I'm not really like familiar with them. If it was anybody I was familiar with, I would, I would do it, but otherwise we might just raid one of my friends or something. Kit Boga's charity streaming. Oh, really? Uh, Joe Cat is not live right now. Is he? I don't see anything. I mean, like, I see he's live. I'm totally down to, to raid into another charity stream. That sounds great. I just don't see... Like, is it... Oh, is it well okay so he's got a couple of campaigns but they've been retired so yeah I don't see I don't I don't see anything any like uh Okay, oh, Joe Cat is live. Oh, it didn't say that it was. Okay, um, let me see real quick. I like to give a little preamble first before we do it. Okay, it looks like, okay, they're raising in pounds. Their goal is 100,000 pounds. Okay. And they've, so far, they've raised 47,388.83 pounds. So, I don't know if we can help them hit that goal, but we can help them put a dent in it for sure. Uh, let's raid Joe Cat. They're playing Final Fantasy XIV online. And they're raising for uh, gendered intelligence, which I was trying to look up. I was trying to figure out, like, I'm trying to give a little preamble about them. Let me see. Uh, before we go there. Okay, gendered intelligence. Our mission is to increase understanding of uh, gender diversity. Our vision is of a world where people are no longer constrained by narrow perceptions and expectations of gender and where diverse gender ex expressions are visible and valued. Okay. Let's check it out. Let's uh, let's raid into them then. Um, maybe we can help them hit 50k. You know, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, let me. I'm not really in a position to like. I gotta go into my own chat for this. Okay, we're gonna raid them and then I'll I'll end the stream. So now they do have follower or subscriber only chat, so you may not be able to chat. But um, if you do follow them already. Or if if they're in follower only chat, then get your uh, get your emote of choice ready, and we can uh, we we can not spam those, but you know announce our arrival when we go in. 
but yeah thank you guys for for coming and uh i'll see y'all in the next stream we'll do we'll try to do a instagram photo shoot and stuff and uh whenever uh jeff shaves his pink beard i'll make sure to uh to tweet that out all right i'll see you guys later thanks for coming bye